But I was going into Toshi Station, Toshi Station, Toshi Station, Toshi Station. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converter. Power converter. Going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converter. Toshi Station, Toshi Station, Toshi Station, power converter. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, sorry, I still I stepped on you. There <laughs> you thing. go. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the finals of the Major Von Greg Open, brought to you by Toshi Station Radio and Game Cafe. This is our local league that we've been doing via Tabletop Simulator, hosted by Ryan Kraus. Uh, I'm your commentator, Matt Newt. I'm also your commentator, Alex Smittle. And we're watching the first game of our two-game finals between Doug Howe and Greg Smith. Uh, also known as the other two hosts of our podcast. <laughs> which is uh, totally not rigged. We did not plan it this way, but hey, we get a top Greg, station title. If you watched our stream before, you saw Greg knock me out in the semifinals. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Doug fought his way in over uh, Matt Ritz, our other top four player, and now and our other Matt, yeah, and our other Matt, exactly. And we're bringing the uh, hyperspace game to you first. So, uh, Alex, why don't you tell us what Doug's flying? Doug, surprising everyone, is running a list featuring Kylo Ren. I'm shocked. Shocked. Um, he's also running uh, Blackout and uh, Major Von Reg. Uh, let's see, he's got Predator on Blackout and mm -hmm. Daredevil on Von Reg. He is does. That yes. That's a, so I've actually run a list similar to this, too. Um, I've done, run it with no upgrades and a deeper bid, but uh, he has a little more versatility with uh, the Daredevil on Von Reg and then Predator on Blackout means Blackout can have focus reroll for offense. All right. And, and uh, Kylo for Kylo, as they say. Yeah. Doug is at 198 points. Uh, shout over to him. Ask him who's the first player. Greg is first player. Greg is first player. All right. I don't think there's any initiative overlap. No, I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, Doug is first player. Doug he is first us. player. Okay. Make sure we get that on the overlay. Uh, and Greg, uh, also surprising no one, is flying a separatist list, but a separatist salad of sorts. Indeed. We're, look we're looking at DBS 404. That's the fellow who can uh, do primary attacks at range zero with advanced proton torps, thread tracers, and landing struts. We've got DFS 311, the vulture who can share his calculates with grappling struts. A Geonosian prototype in the HMP with Saint Laser Cannons, Kraken Tactical Relay, and Repulsor List Stabilizers, Letty and Sideslip. Wat Tambor, who is the, uh, lets people use their calculates to add evades, uh, and that is, he's carrying Soulless One. And then we've got a Naked I-1 Colicoid Interceptor Tri-Fighter, very much a, not random, but, uh, unconventional Separatist a, List here. An assortment, if you will. Yeah. Uh, I really like this because I talked with Greg a little bit about it before we went live, and it actually seems to just have a little bit of everything. It's I don't know if uh, it's going to fly like we see a normal swarm. Greg's going for a pretty unconventional opening formation here, but who knows? Uh, Makes sense. Um, just leave himself some flexibility. Indeed. They've gone for the standard triangular range of obstacles in the center. Gives... Two large corners to maneuver through, as well as a lot of space for these mostly highly maneuverable ships. We should see a really interesting game here. The rocks are not as clustered as I think Doug would prefer. Um, Doug's ships are very maneuverable and would like clustered rocks where he can abuse the less maneuverable quote-unquote droids. Right, um, also, yeah. reminder to change yourself to gray instead of black so they can't see your hand. Uh -huh. I shall do so. Thank you to Doug for that reminder. We have two viewers now. I'm not the only viewer anymore, so that's cool. Welcome, viewer. Um, feel free to type in the chat. I'll be monitoring the chat all game because I have nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm gonna strategy talk's gonna be hard because Doug and I are about six feet away from each other, so I don't want to talk about what Greg could do. <laughs> because indeed, I'll cover Greg's end of strategy then. Doug says it's fine. I could talk about what Greg wants to do. <laughs> that, in fact, reinforces that I should not. <laughs> indeed. Well, one of the things that is going to be important for Greg's list is the fact that Greg actually has to uh, pay attention to the distance between his ships for network calculation and Kraken, whereas Doug has no such restrictions. All his ships fly totally independently. Indeed. And that is a, can be a strength. Both, both types of lists, the Synergy and the Independent, can't have their strengths. Mm -hmm. um, right. If Greg gets his stuff flowing, it'll be really nice, but uh, Doug does have the baseline of his ships do what they do Indeed. No matter how, um, what happens. Yeah. And go ahead and let me know when they start that timer, and I'll start our own screen timer. 
Will do. Um, and like I said, uh, Doug's ships are going to be very maneuverable. Bray's going to have to lay down some blocks, I think, to... Mm -hmm. uh, well, he's got uh, five ships all at lower initiative, so yeah. blocks could very well be a thing. And he has a pretty solid... Greg has a pretty solid amount of offense, too. So if Greg can get a bunch of shots lined up on an ace, he can do some pain. Absolutely. It's almost like, interestingly enough, DBS 404 is acting almost like area denial here because under no circumstances are they going to want to land in that range one uh, arc. All right, they say they are good to go, so we'll start our timer as soon as they start theirs. Indeed. Time is... Go. All right. So, leaving the uh, rulers... There we go. <laughs> Ah, the old tri fighter. Oh my god, they're going straight and calculating. Well, very bold choice for Greg. <laughs> Not really, but. <laughs> that pilot was as bold as he is foolish. <laughs> Interesting that he's keeping DBS in the back to start. Uh, DBS does have the tracer, so he's probably hoping that he can catch DBS at range 3 of a ship while everybody mm -hmm. else is closer to lay some pain. That would make sense because uh, DBS's ability does not allow him to fire ordnance at range zero, so he does want a range control before he starts getting in there for the smashy blocks. Uh, Kylo, Doug just said, has a phenomenal flank right now. Um, he's got the green five, the blue five straight. He can just zoom in and forces the whole list to turn in. But if they do, then blackouts on their flank. A Von Reg in the middle, meaning. Doug is forcing Greg to commit to one ship. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Which is what you want to do as an ace player into a swarm. You want to force them to commit to one ship. And hopefully that one ship gets past them. And uh, you just got free flanks all day. Is the goal. Very true. And this is, of course, uh, the advantage of all of Doug's ships being very fast, having a lot of good blues, and the just like you said, the ability to get past them. Whereas the Separatists do kind of suffer a little bit on the turnarounds. Indeed. Um, but does the, Greg have struts on his struttable ships? He, he does. does. That, yep. that will help a bit, because Absolutely. struts make uh, make you maneuverable. The other thing about duck ships is all three of them have double positions as well. Monreg yeah. is a little if he has to do barrel roll first and then boost, but uh, the other two are f supremely maneuverable mm -hmm. and very tanky. So, um, and why do you think Greg has a bit of an uphill battle matchup-wise? Uh, Greg is, however, balancing that out by bringing a ton of red dice. He does. So, it's uh, <clears throat> If he can get them on target, it'll be very good for Greg. Yeah, Greg wants to see range 2 and range 1 engagements just to maximize that amount of red dice. However, the issue with that is it's very easy to be arc dodged at range 1 and range 2. Exactly <laughs> what I was going to say there. The, uh, the Gian Ocean prototype with its 180 degree arc is probably his biggest asset there, especially with its ability to do the side slips. Indeed, yeah, that the Geonosin should be able to keep arc, but it can't fire its sync laser cannon out of its 180, right? Just the front? That is correct. The sync laser so cannon it... is simply a front arc thing. However, with Kraken, it can do those more difficult maneuvers and keep a uh, calculate, as well, allowing DBS-404 to ram into things and keep his calculate. <laughs> Indeed. Um, but if... A... With the maneuverability, the ability to keep target from the HMP, it's still only two dice a lot of the time. So we'll see how well, um, how much damage the aces can actually take from that. Um, uh, oh! Yeah. Greg either refusing to commit... Oh, this is actually smart because I'm thinking if Greg uh, places his ships here... He's not likely to take a whole bunch of shots on this turn, and then maybe is going to be able to turn in and come through the middle. Indeed. Um, we sh yeah, I don't see... I, if Blackout has the room to three bank without hitting that rock, it could be a bad spot. No, see, that helps. That helps. Mm -hmm. we got a double calculating. Right there. Okay, with the boost into calculate that the Colicoids Indeed. have. DFS uh, chilling around that board edge. Wat Tambor is probably the biggest threat. Like, if I was dead, I'm going for Wat Tambor first. Yeah, I was looking at this trying to figure out exactly where is the target priority for Doug here because these are all relatively inexpensive ships 
and while they have synergy there is no absolute linchpin you take out Wat Tambor you take out his ability but his ability isn't a it's not the list isn't required to have Wat Tambor no. to work and then you've I'm also, taking out his his always three attack dice and tankiness is what I'm taking out very good point Wat. um if you can pick off the the cold coid, that's uh that's fine too. It's the other three die attack ship. Mm -hmm. But really, when you're flying aces into a swarm, you're taking targets of opportunity. All right. Interesting that he's keeping DBS in the back there. Possibly for exactly what we were saying, uh, looking for that range three tracer shot to set up target locks. he will not have a he doesn't have a calculate because of the barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's not coming. In. He can, yeah, he can, however, be passed to calculate from DFS 311. If they are in range, which yeah. is range 1 to 2, 0 to 2. All right, Black, zero to three. Yeah, okay. Blackout says, no, I would prefer not to be involved in that scrum, and mm -hmm. uh, wisely gets himself it's, out of it's dodge. By a nub right there. <laughs> Props also to the programmers of the mod, uh, Crazy Vulcan and others, for adding that proxy ability that we're seeing here on screen, uh, giving you a much easier chance of determining what fits, where you want to go. It saves a lot of time in the game, so you're not move, undo, move, undo. <laughs> Indeed. Um, so Doug did do what I expect with Kylo, five straight zoom in, and now Kylo has a free flank, uh, which is worrisome for Greg. But uh, if Greg can punish one of the other ships... Fortunately, with the way Doug's ships are pointed, uh, Doug's got a really good position to start this game. Mm -hmm. Because Blackout is just as fast as Kylo, so if you chase Blackout... Yeah, chasing Blackout... Chasing a silencer is rarely a good choice when there are other ships on the table. You're not going to catch him with a Separatist list. And Doug has no reason to commit with Von Reich either right now, because yeah. Greg's list is on the other half of the map. Kylo's got the flank. Von Reich can just stay at distance and hope that... Um, Greg can't commit his whole list to Kylo his turn either. That's true. Well, one of the things we're also looking at here is we're seeing that Kraken ability being chosen there. Indeed. Who's getting so yeah, of... maybe he can get a he can get like a one heart in from or two heart. I'm not I don't know the dials exactly for the DBS and then Colacoid can turn in. But the other three ships are not going to be able to shoot Kylo without doing a red maneuver. Uh, K turn or a sloop or now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DFS is kind of out there. 404 can easily turn in and will most likely have shots on Kylo, barring. Uh... And, and, like, DFS could do a one hard barrel roll calculate as well and probably pick up a shot. Yeah. I honestly have no idea what to expect out of a Geno's and prototype. So, could it side slip? Maybe. Will it work? I don't know. <laughs> the. And then... You know, the other thing is, again, with that uh, 180 degree arc, you could just turn in and possibly get Three. some two die shots. Three. Uh, we may see uh, a the the Belba Lab. It has Talon rolls or sloops. It has sloop. It has three sloops. Three um, sloops. That's the only turnaround it has, and it's the only way one has a chance of shooting it. Mm -hmm. um, so we get the Colacoid out of the way. You three sloop that way, maybe. Hmm. Maybe or maybe you uh, you hope that um, Von Rake comes in and you can commit everything to Von Rake. Von Rake is very easy to kill compared to Silencer. Um, uh, land a block or at half time Von Rake's taking strengths anyway. Yeah. So. Um, Von Reg's definitely the obvious first choice for Greg if he can get to him. Although, if I'm Doug, I take Von Reg up the side to follow Kylo, make them 100%. commit to a long chase on Von Reg. Indeed. Or, yeah, either... What I would do What I would do is a slower maneuver with Von Reg here, um, but still towards that board edge, and then um, he has the opportunity to see if Greg turns in on Kylo, and then in that case, Von Reg can turn back in and cut through the middle of the board, or if they keep chasing Blackout, and then Von Reg can keep going up the board edge and follow Kylo around. And that's pretty much Ace Strategy 101 right there. Indeed, yep. Do not commit. Commitment is the enemy. So you're saying Ace players are perfect for commitment issues? Indeed. <laughs> In fact, commitment is detrimental to the Ace. Talk in the chat, y'all. We got four viewers. Well, three who aren't me. Um, <laughs> what's up? Thanks for joining us. Um, indeed, indeed. On this wonderful uh, afternoon. Now... As we're recording this, also the Gold Squadron Flightcast Recruits Championship is on, so a lot of folks might be over watching that. Oh, uh, I haven't caught up on that. I looked in briefly before I had to run out and grab some lunch. But there's a lot of X-Wing going on these next couple weeks. Indeed. 
Like the three of us in two weeks from this weekend is two uh, weeks. Yes, the, tw- the 27th will be the. Uh, wait, what is today? Is today the 12th? Or the Today's 12th? the 13th. So yeah, the 27th will be the uh, Ace Championship that we three are in. And then next weekend will be the Veterans Championship that Greg will be uh, like. representing us in. Indeed. Hi, Ryan. Hello, Ryan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> our league organizer in the chat, cleaning the basement while watching as. As one does. That's much more responsible than what I'm doing, which is yeah. <laughs> not doing any cleaning while commentating. <laughs> I wouldn't Next want time. to try and run this all from a tablet while walking around the house cleaning. That'd be that'd be a bit of a stretch, but alright, so it looks like everybody's set here. This is gonna most likely be our first turn of shooting. Deep. Unless Doug plays super squirrely. Or Greg guesses completely wrong. Yeah. I feel like Doug being squirrely is more likely than Greg guessing wrong. That's true, but he does have a stressed Kylo, which Indeed. restricts his movers enough. Uh, Kylo, not exactly known for slow rolling. I say, like, the only blue maneuver that Kylo doesn't have is the three bank, which he did have in first edition, so I'm glad that's gone. And he did turn the interceptor in towards Kylo. Yeah, with that... Blue three which, hard, which is one just... thing we didn't consider with Watt is Watt has one hards and boost, so Watt could one hard boost. He absolutely could there. So okay, he's. I just love watching the little blue hand going back and forth, going what what what. <laughs> All right, looks like we're going to see another boost calculate here. Yep. Yeah, not a bad move there. Let's see if we could get a one hard barrel roll from Watt now. That does mm-hmm. probably block Watt's one hard boost. DFS is coming around, so. Is he going to barrel roll towards the HMP? Is the question. Uh, side is slip! He's going to side slip! We've seen a side slip now! <laughs> the first one I've ever seen. Alright, so. Take another calculate just for good measure. Okay. All right. Watt does that uh, sloop there. Probably set up for next, more yeah. of a setup for next turn than this Exactly. Turn. I'm going to say, there's, Doug should not wind up in Watt's arc here. I mean, a 5-4 puts, puts Kylo in Watt's arc, probably. That's an interesting positioning for DBS there. I would have thought turning in somewhat, but... And maybe he just wants to play it safe with DBS and uh, not risk him getting caught out and murdered by Kylo before the rest of the list can do anything. Ooh. Gives him also some turnaround choices for next turn also as well. Like I did a one oh. hard. I was counting on the turn in towards Kylo. Mm-hmm. Keep, he keeps the stress on the one hard. Oh, was it too hard? Okay. Yeah, he's, he's... I thought I thought I heard Doug say one hard. Yeah. It's a really really good position. For I actually don't like the boost. Mm. I liked it better when he stayed where he was barrel rolled. Yeah, because wow. you've got these ships that could all theoretically turn in on blackout next turn. I mean, two of two of them are stressed. Um, and again, if they turn in a blackout, that's what Doug won. But yeah. uh, I, I think if he had boosted and stayed where he rolled, he had a really good hard turn in. In this turn, his options are just a little more limited by that rock there. Right. So right now we're seeing, yeah, they get Doug playing it safe and. He's gonna get his free. He's gonna take a free shot. He might eat a range three from the Jennison, but probably not. And then Von Reg playing it non-committal, coming up the middle, and Von Reg with that spot. No matter what Greg did, Von Reg had an escape route. Absolutely. Or a in combat route. Taking and that uh, strength for a target lock and a focus. All right. And we've got our shooting here. DBS passes game. along the calculate to... DF, to DFS passes that's along. Yeah, DFS, there we go. Oh, and is that unobstructed? It looks like... It is unobstructed. So we're looking at 3v4 here. It is unobstructed. Ooh. Vomer well, using that lock. Spend the lock because well, you you smoke them if you got them basically. Absolutely, Vomer's got no penalty for using his mods there. And Greg comes out with, he spends the calc to, to not take eight. Very good, very good there. All right, uh, Kylo and the, and the GNS is out, so Kylo is likely not eating any shots this turn. So. 
push for two into DBS. Natty! <laughs> oh, it's so strange even a range three to see a high unit rolling three dice. Yeah. Okay. And Greg, just for procedure, going through. I oh, was so close, but Kylo was just, just out. out. Okay. Colicoid doesn't have a shot. Oh, so it looks like a. This is a. This does not bode well for Greg right now. He's got well, his ships pointed in three different directions yeah. with an ace on three sides okay. of him. Um, well, Greg's just gonna have a hard time going forward, getting all of the arcs on one ship. And if Greg is splitting fire, Doug is a happy boy. That's true. However. Now, see, if I'm Doug here, I almost want to try and move Kylo towards the top side of the board here, uh, the side closest to the timer, because that's going to be the hardest. You want to have, if I'm Doug, I want to try and lure Greg into turning his ships to where they don't have a lot of maneuverability there. You know, use Kylo as bait to pin Greg's formation against the side of the board and let the other two come in like a hammer and anvil. So and hopefully, Greg, like, Greg should ignore Kylo at this point. Yeah. Greg needs to... Greg can actually get most of his ships onto Von Rake, but Von Rake does have a really easy escape mm -hmm. as well. Um, like I said, like, this is a really good engage for Doug. Yeah, this almost, I'm thinking, needs to be a bailout and reset turn for Greg. That problem with that is he's going to eat for three free shots if he does that, because Doug has the reactive ability with his double reposition mm -hmm. ships. Um, well, you can, get, you can get distance away from Blackout, at least. And I think it would be, it would be risky for uh, Doug to try and commit to a, uh, a turning in here. So he's stressed with he's stressed with Kylo. So I'm thinking again we're, we see something like a maybe a two straight just to it's get a two position. straight two bank three straight something in that area. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He's Doug Kylo probably isn't too hardy in. Yeah, no, yeah, too too hardy in would be way too aggressive and. But uh, he's got Von Rig for free, basically, unless these ships over here, DBS, the Geonosin, and DFS go for Von Rig, but that leaves the flank free for both Kylo and Blackout. Mm -hmm. uh, I do think this is an engage that does pretty heavily favor Doug at the moment. Absolutely. But no damage. But if Greg can, land a, yet, if so. Greg can land a block, that's a, that's a huge game changer. We'll just have to see what happens. All right. At some point, there's a there's a point where Greg loses critical mass of ships, where he just doesn't have the ships to punch through. Mm, exactly, that's uh -huh. right. If if Greg falls behind early, it's going to be a real uphill battle. Now, that's the thing. Like, swarms into ace matchups and two point unlike one point are pretty much skill matchups. Um, uh, the swarm player does definitely have a, a, a win condition in blocking and um, just volume of shots because auto thrusters and Palpatine and token mm -hmm. stacking don't exist anymore. Right, but uh, you know, with this positioning, it's really hard for Greg to get any blocks in on Kylo, especially not only from the unpredictable like, movements, but because everybody's pointed in the totally wrong direction for it. As a swarm player, I have a very, very specific philosophy when it comes to Kylo, which is ignore him, kill the rest of the list, and hope I have more points than Kylo's worth in time. Um, when you're flying a lot of two attack die ships, that's pretty much your only recourse into Kylo: is to ignore him, try to kill the rest of the list. And win. Okay, so points. We've got the interceptor coming around, trying to get some flankies going. That's Greg is turning in on Kylo, which I mean, that is the only ship he can point all of his ships at. Right. So it does make sense. That was an interesting barrel roll. Uh, did he boost in? The Colicoid boosted, yeah. Oh, okay, Colicoid boosted. All right, I was... Is that... Yeah, that is a bump there from the uh, Humpty. Which is fine. That yeah. actually leaves his arc open forever. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere Kylo can be to that dodge. not getting... Here. 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 And do we see a K-turn from the Hyena? The we hyena do, yep. Yeah. Now, this is risky here because DFS could pass him the... Calculate, oh, uh, but that would leave DFS naked in the middle. Oh no, DFS should have double calculates here. I think DFS uh, calc rolled uh, the cal colicoid and uh, Watt 
kept their cabin. Ah, okay. Oh, is is that not on the rock? It's not on the rock. He oh, the rock he is hugging that rock so close. Kylo did do the two forward. Mm -hmm. Which puts focus him in boost. a lot of arcs here. I uh, hate he's able to focus boost and only eat two shots. Maybe a third, but probably only two shots now. Both of which are only two dice. All right. And then Von Reich, I say. I don't think Von Reich can barrel roll to right one. here, so. But Von Reich barrel, roll, barrel rolling left or taking the target lock here is a. He, he can take the, he can afford to take the lock because they have blue one hearts, mm -hmm. so he can one hard. <laughs> upwards or between the rock and the gas cloud. And one hard and then one hard boost back right back into it. So. Yeah. I say Von Reich. Uh, Von Reich's in a really great position, yeah. actually. Oh, actually, so, that, so, that ability to do the blue one hard, and then the one hard boost. While getting a target lock, that's just. I think Doug's in a really good. And Doug hasn't flown. Uh, we haven't seen Doug fly aces in a while. He was on a self-imposed ace exile to mm -hmm. uh, just get some other gains in. But uh, now the aces are back, and it's going going well for him so far. All right. Well, he does have that target lock focus there from Von Reg, and we're going to make. Kylo it... and Blackout can can double up on shots onto somebody as well. My uh -huh. guess is DBS, because DBS has no mods, and you take out DBS, that's a big well, chunk of damage. Oh, uh, is DBS the... Is DBS green? DBS is blue. DFS. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, DBS is green. He is out of arcs there. He just passed it to D DBS. We'll just say Vulture and Hyena. Vulture, so Vulture passed the <laughs> to Hyena. Okay. But that leaves him modless for this obstructed... So it'll be three on three. Mm-hmm. Full mods from Von Rag. Okay. Crit and two blanks. Spins the lock. What we got the tire lock for. That one was a crit. Mm -hmm. And no reason not to spin the focus here. So crit and then focus or hit, hit crit. Okay. He does he, get to evade, so he just eats the crit. He will eat the crit onto DFS 311, and it will be... Fuel leak. Fuel leak, all right. Actually kind of scary on a vulture, because now any random crit that goes through is dead. Yeah. And TFS, of all the people, can't really afford to spend his action to flip a fuel leak. That is true. He's got the past calculates. That's why you pay the extra points for him. Oh, the extra points. He's still only 24 points. Oh, another... Is, that's a, he's a 20% he's a increase off a normal yeah. vulture, though. And the double of eight, so D... Hyena. Hyena takes a... Uh... <laughs> takes a crit. Damaged sensor array. That's actually oh, that's huge very bad. Because, on, uh, uh, they yeah, don't have focuses. They do not. Oh, disable power regulator. Oh, disable yeah, power regulator. Okay. All right. Uh, he's going, going after there. him as well. Kylo is probably saving as many of his mods as possible. He'll save all of his mods. <laughs> he has no choice. And another hit coming in. So. After three shots, Greg took three damage. It could have gone worse for Greg. He is, a. Uh... Is this the Tracer? Or is it a primary? It looks like it's a primary. Oh, interesting. That is interesting. He really should fire the Tracer. He really should fire the Tracer here. Oh, it looks like he's considering. Got the calculate. He's got the option. He's flipping it. He There's flipping the it. He's firing the Tracer. All right. Good, uh, good work, Greg. Worst comes to worst, he can hopefully strip him on. Two. Two, okay. A chance. Yep. Yeah, we'll strip a force. Which is fine. Like, half the time you're firing tracers, it's just to, uh... Kylo at range two by the slimmest of corners. <laughs> okay. And... Wat Babalua, a Wat Tambor. Wat Tambor... Spends one of his calc. Oh, his ability. Yeah, his ability. Yes, Just... and then and then he can focus for two. Or for right. two, it's a crit. Oh, Kylo that. Will take... take a shield. Take a shield off Kylo. The Geonosis at range one, three dice into Kylo. This isn't suck. That doesn't. Uh, Reroll one with Watt? No. I think Watt's ability only works on itself. Uh, Kylo does take the shield, though. Shield's down mm -hmm. on Kylo. Uh, that's true. Doug just said that's why he has shields. That's 
And it looks like nothing from DFS and the Colacoid is pointed the opposite direction. So, all right, we saw some clutch crits uh, landing on Greg's ships, but Kylo Shieldless is uh, at least a Let's small... See, DBS should have an ion token because he was ioned before. So I'm going to hop in and tell them. He... Yes. They got it. All right. They got it as I was hopping in, so... You're good. Of course, part about Greg is he has to figure out which tokens stay and leave at the end of each cut. Right. I watched an HMP damage Kylo, though, so that was cool. <laughs> and the 3D models in this game are pretty phenomenal. Absolutely. Again, shout out to Crazy Vulcan for the hard work he does putting these uh, models together. Like, especially I zoomed all the way in on the HMP, and it looks amazing. I can see the mesh. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, now that dialogue styles are set, I can speak words. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm this correct. is really, really not the ideal positioning for Greg's ships here. Agreed. Uh, um, it's going to be very hard for him to get shots with those three die attacks. Kylo so, is almost certainly five striding out. Yeah, which is Ky Kylo bails out here. He's going to recover his other force, let everybody else do some stuff before he swings back in to hopefully clean up like a shark later. You know, it would be um, great if DFS had, if DBS had bombs. <laughs> that would be helpful. Um, Greg running a list without bombs just seems weird. And again, like, bombs aren't super great against aces anymore um, because of the, especially the silencers, because of the double reposition. Um, mines, are, mines are a different story. That is true. Although, the only mines that are in uh, hyperspace are the Connernet and Cluster Mines. We don't get the the easy procs anymore. Connernets are super good against aces, though. Oh, Connernets are great. If you can land a Connernet against an ace, you're amazing, but yeah. it's hard to do. So speaking of what Doug, talking about what Doug's going to do here, almost certainly Blackout's just too banky behind to be on, like, either you're K-turning your whole list and getting no mods, or I'm just going to keep following you. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I'm thinking Von Reg is doing one hard to his right, and then he can boost in if he needs to, or he can do what he needs to do. Right, to he him. has the option for the regular boost or the Daredevil and boost again, there. Doug could also one hard to the left, expecting Greg to turn everything towards Von Reg, which is probably what I do if I am Greg. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking here. You've got Von Reg, who's the most vulnerable to focus fire. Indeed, and also the, in the only one in the position you can get most of your shifts on. Mm-hmm. And then again, if Greg manages to get one more damage into Kylo, that's a huge chunk of points yeah. for half Kylo. And to be honest, if Doug dials in that one hard with Vonreg, he could just, he's moving last, he can opt to be, oh, I'm just going to stay here with high defense behind this rock. Indeed. Like, hard turn, I'm thinking hard turn from the Colicoi just to keep Kylo honest. Mm-hmm. Um, and then everybody else turns to the right towards Von Rake. Too hard from DFS. Too hard from Watt. Like a bank from the HMP. And then a too hard keeping a stress. Oh, he can't. DF DBS is 140. Yeah, he's 140 no matter what he's doing. Indeed. He is not getting a shot on anybody this turn and may not be long for this world. Though he probably is only eating one shot back. Because Von Reg, unless Von Reg does like a bank and boost around the rock, which is actually which, a really yeah, actually good that move. that's the other thing. It's I'm a really about. good move. The idea of a two bank left from Von Reg, and then a boost in to the right. Boost in gives you some free shots where nobody but the Geonosian is probably going to be shooting at you. And I walk can always sloop towards where Kylo is or where the Colacoid is. Also a possibility. But uh, what does that see? Um, With the weird dials on the droids, you just never know. Indeed. So that was that that was expected there. That'll mm -hmm. keep Kylo honest. As honest also, he didn't, have, he didn't really have any better maneuvers. So one of Kylo's force tokens. Kylo should have a force. Team. Yeah, he should have one. Uh, so that is a stress clearing maneuver. Does he have room to boost here? That's what he's he's thinking about. It's close. I think it fits, but it's a little odd here to look at it. But 
Uh, Doug also said he thinks that boost will fit uh, as well. I do think it does fit. Yeah. Correctly, oh, yeah. it he's, does. He's, and he he's not think, even in line with Kylo. Yeah. Like. Stretch for the calculator there. <laughs> That's not a, not a bad movie either. Bailout. Pass Bailout, you know, act, act as a calculate battery. Yep. Two yep. bank. That's what, right. what I expected there. A little bit off kilter because of the bump, but that's still a wide open arc. Yeah, it's a 180 degree arc, so... Greg, what are you pointing at, man? He's trying to decide <laughs> where his ships are going to end up. Hey, we're up to six viewers. Welcome, viewers. All right, so... Oh, and... Oh, that's right. The Sync Laser Cannon's only primary arc is going to say, are we going to see the Sync Laser Cannon's ability come into play here? No. Not unless Von Rigg did something very risky. Unless Von Rigg, yeah, Von Rigg could have done the one hard. He's got the option for a target lock, and he will put it on... He should probably put it on Blackout. Yeah, I agree. That's the one he's got a chance to actually shoot at again. Though he could just pick it up for Kylo and say, yeah. hey, if you ever end up in my arc, I'll take a fully modified shot at you. You're one above half. Strong, strong. That's one thing a lot of you need to do as a swarm player is pick up target locks when you can. Especially when you're going to need to have those turns where everybody flips around. Yeah, you are exactly right. Watt uh, flips himself around that way. It's a, it's a good move for one. Mm -hmm. um, he's actually... The ionized one straight with no other options, but with Kraken he was allowed to keep the calculate there. Absolutely right. Kylo bugs out. Looks like he'll only be taking a Colocoid shot here. So Kylo takes a lock. Tarlock boost, and he's still got the Force. Mm -hmm. He's got one Force. It is a range 3 shot. Um, yeah, but Tarlock yeah. was, was a bold choice. But uh, maybe he's thinking... You know. All right, Blackout coming in and choosing some violence here. Man, that's a barrel out of Watts. And, and there Doug, we go. does the... do the one bank. Removes a strain. Because he's going to be in the Geonosian's I arc, I don't think he wants to take the strain back I just, here. I just strain barrel roll out. Yeah. Or deplete. Well, he's going to deplete for the lock. And then barrel roll, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I think that's what I would do. Yep. There it is. Mm -hmm. Gives him the option to hard turn in, clearing stress next turn. And it's a deplete. It's not critical for him to even clear. He can take a lower shot. It's an um, right. Well, he's not taking a shot this turn, so it deplete hurts nothing. Indeed. But even if he doesn't clear it with a blue maneuver, it's still not a big deal to keep mm -hmm. a deplete token laying around. Yeah. Um. Ace lists low damage output into a swarm is an issue, but uh, he's actually ahead on the damage curve. Yeah. And in a really good position, so yeah. he can afford to take a two die shot with Von Rake if he has to. Right. And as an example of how cagey they're playing this, we're half an hour into this game, and there are no points on the board yet. Indeed. These are two very analytical players who don't make moves without thinking them through. So, all right, we're seeing Blackout going into Range one DBS. With Predator, so four dice with Predator focus. And I bet he's willing to spend the focus for four here. Especially with a crit on the board. Oh, yep. yes. Yeah, yep. you got to spend that focus. That's a chance to knock him off the board. And it is. Uh, yeah, he's got he's got one health left. Uh, oh no, he doesn't. No, no he, he took does two not. last time. Yeah. <laughs> that is a PS kill of. And now we do have points on the team. Indeed. Oh, he can. Oh, he doesn't have a second eye to network calculate. That's sad. Yeah. <laughs> Very damage sensor ray. As per, he is dead. Well, at least it gets those out of the uh, the deck. Indeed. Oh, no, that was only one. That's right. so... Yeah, one damage sensor, one to silver power regulator. Yeah. Uh, that's Doug's only shot, so now it's a... 
That barrel roll out of Watts Arc was huge mm -hmm. for Blackout. Uh, At this point, Hail Mary shooted Kylo for half points, I think, from Greg. Um, he's only got one force. You have double calculate. It's range three, but if you get one damage through, you just made up the points you lost on TBS. That's true. I'm going to say Hail Mary shoot a Kylo if I'm Greg here. Yeah. that's This is the best chance he's got to have Kylo for quite a while. Because after this turn, Kylo can just say, I'm out of it. Kylo's, Kylo's too big into the board edge next turn, 100%, I think. His two Harden is either hitting the rock or is in the middle of a scrum, which neither of those things are good. So I think he's, he's well, either... I don't know. Does, it, does a five straight clear the rock? Maybe. If it does, he's probably doing that. But, uh... But actually, yeah. let's... Oh, okay, we're seeing that. Spend both the calculates. Or do you want here? Oh, no, he's spending both calculates. All right. Watt only works on himself. He does? I thought Watt was... For... While you perform... Uh, I, I'm thinking Captain Seer. That's right. Yeah. Seer is the nasty... Oh, kind and of And gets the second... Of, gets the, the double paint. It still was the right shot to take because... Oh, 100%. He should have taken that shot every time because... The... If he manages to half points, Kylo, that's way worth, uh, worth more than doing a damage game. blackout. Yeah. Okay, so. We're looking at interesting positioning here for Greg because DFS is pointing towards the board. Yeah, he's got to do stuff to get back in. Uh with all these ships here, he's got hard some, to... yeah he's got some good options to block or neutralize blackout. Yeah, I think blackout's just five forwarding out, clearing a stress, um, just playing it safe. So uh, if I'm Doug, I realize he's coming after Von Reg, and I want to get Von Reg out of as many arcs as possible. Do I one hard left and bail? That's definitely a possibility. Um, like there are still thirty eight minutes left, but. Mm -hmm. Doug's up on points, and he's already got the more maneuverable ships. He has no reason to engage if it's not on his terms. But also, like, sacrificing Von Rake to kill another ship is not a bad idea either, because Von Rake is only worth 57, and uh, if Doug kills any one of Greg's ships in exchange for Von Rake, he'll still be up on points. The other but, thing that, but it makes it a much much closer game, and it reduces the amount of sh shots you have remaining on the board. Indeed, but if he's up on if Doug's up on points, it doesn't matter how many shots he's taking because it's unlikely he's going to get enough. Damage that is normal two, strategy. So. However, since we are playing two games here, where this MOV in the first game matters quite a bit, I would say uh, it in theory it does. But in our, Doug and I actually went back and checked. Only twice in the whole league did somebody win the first game and lose the second one by enough for it to matter. Uh, um, that's or how actually, Doug, by... that's how Doug got here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was one of the two times. Um, every other time, the person who won the first game won the second game. Okay. Um, but also, fishing for MOV is like, losing because you were trying to get higher from MOV and your win is worse than just winning. That, that so is for game true. one, game one, you just got to take the win if you can get it. I think. All right. Greg is still trying to figure out what he will do with some of his ships. I think he's really debating on what to do with DFS here because he's if, got a couple of options. I if think. he well, if he, goes to, if he goes to the left, he's going to be open to shots from blackout, and those shots might be against an unmodded defense if he talent rolls. But well, that's he... my thing. Is he's got that's one option. Um, Blackout is almost certainly still five forwarding, and uh, but uh, he can also one hard anticipating the blackout five forward and just try to take a range one shot in the blackout or force blackout to disengage even harder than he is. Um, you're gonna two hard the HMP in. You're gonna two bank Watt in. You're gonna two forward the Coloquid or two bank the Coloquid, or even two hard maybe. But uh, so DFS are either town rolling two two Kang or one harding or mm -hmm. one Kang or one. Actually, I might 1k. This thing with playing interceptor types, they've got such a wide open dial for options. Um, like, like, Blackout can't really afford to do anything but a 4 or 5 forward to clear stress. Otherwise, he risks 
getting blocked and killed. Um, oh, he's at now. full health, so getting killed would be kind of hard. I mean, he, you get blocked into two range one shots. <laughs> Alright, well, we're looking at That's cutting off the too hard option there. And the two bank option. But uh, like I said, I have no doubt in my mind, Doug, at minimum, did a three forward, but almost certainly a four or five forward him. It's smart, not boosting here, keeping that arc as wide open as oh, possible. Yeah. Here's the one hard. I was right. He's Short. predicting the five. He's predicting the five forward out. Also, as predicted, there's a side slip. Yes. Oh. I don't love it to be honest. I think a two hard would have been a better maneuver. Uh, I don't it know. keeps your arc in the same direction, but you're actually closer to the combat, where you actually have a chance. Well, I think this unless he's is... thinking black, unless he's covering his bases, expecting. DFS will cover the five forward. Mm -hmm. The prototype will cover the shorter maneuvers. Yeah. And he takes the target lock. I kind of like this with the Colocoid and Watt covering Von Reg. Yeah, I just I don't but think Von Reg is there. Splitting fire against an ace list like this always. I mean, when you're playing a swarm into an ace, you have to shoot what they give you. Mm -hmm. That's the like, it's on an ace player's job to make you juggle targets, yeah. um, and you, as a swarm, you just have to take what you can get. And Doug is uh, um, pretty good as uh, an ace player when it comes to that. That might be an understatement, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> He's on right. edge. No link. He's gonna no need, no take his time there. to recover his horse. He had the four forward. Word. Okay. So, so yeah, boost to get out of the uh, arc there. And he's gonna trade range ones with the two health DV DFS. Yeah. If I'm Von Rake did turn it. Oh. I was going to say, if I'm blackout, I take that matchup any day of the week. Oh, straight up. You have an above average chance of PS killing a Vulture Droid at 2 health. In fact, if you roll 4, you have PS killed <laughs> the Vulture Droid. Yeah. He does have range lock. And then. Switching his lock over to Watt. So he did clear his deplete. And he retakes it. And he takes an evade. And uh, oh, range three bullseye into Watt, which does mean next turn Watt will start the turn with the strain uh, deplete. Assuming he... they remember Von Rex. Oh play. no, he took he took another deplete to take the target lock. Yeah, he okay. uh, he cleared his deplete, then took one to lock and gotcha. activated. Okay. The invest is deciding if he should pass this calculate. Um, I think the answer is nay. <laughs> <laughs> or you say, or you say, DFS is going to die anyway. Can I kill Von yep. with these two shots? Which it's unlikely that Greg kills Von with these two shots, but that's the that's the dream at this point. All right, Von Rig takes a range three here. Oh, if I'm Von Rig, there's ah. no way you spend that target lock. Yeah, I mean, okay, well, he's ahead. Like, this is also Von Rig's not going to shoot after this turn because Von Rig's got to bail out after this turn. All right, it is dodged. That's the thing with the aces. So it's like you take your your shots when you got them, and you know you're not going to be shooting every turn. So it's not a bad idea to spend the lock because you can pick it up freely later. Yep. All right, four on two here. If Doug rolls a crit, oh, just to no bullseye for predator. Squiggles keep him alive. One squiggle. One half points though. But now... Now it's Greg's turn. Range three range here. Range three into Von Reg. Three dice into four dice within a fade. Um, the best Greg can do is half Von Reg here. Oh, but even that is relatively unlikely. He'll be ha happy if he gets one in. That well, helps. That's... Yeah. Spin that. Oh, oh my gosh! That is half boom. points on Von Reg. Oof. That actually that puts Greg back in this game. Mm -hmm. If Greg can get an ace off the board, his his essentially three remaining ships because DFS is going to die. Uh, the DFS has a DFS should be oh, they're both ones. That's right. Ah, uh, the Colicoid. One on yeah. the bright side, it comes out to about the same amount of damage. It just all came yeah. on one shot instead of two. Right, and and DFS gets just one in the blackout. That's not he do it. kept that's not or he did pass his calculate. Oh, yeah, he does have. Yeah. 
Absolutely fine there. All right, well, that was a uh, Greg fighting from the bottom here to try and yeah, like having Von Reg is not bad. Now Von Reg, Von Reg isn't going to be in combat this turn. Um, Kylo is Kylo is actually in play because if important at the board edge, he has to do a hard turn. Um, that answer is either a one hard or a three hard probably, but well, it does is... give Greg okay. a chance to actually get Kylo an arc. Von Rick's got a fully open dial, so how do you bail out with him here to where you're not going to be taking shots? Five straight. Five straight. When you... in doubt, five straight out. That that does open you though though to shots from the HMP from DFS. Well, the HMP has to move, and DFS has to move. Right, well, and then Von Rick still has double double rig positions as well. Yeah. A one a one bank from the uh, Geonosian prototype, pretty much. Good. I think you can, you can barely boost out of that if you'll be the Gene Ocean probably should zoom forward to try to catch Kylo anyway. Since uh, you don't you don't think trying to go after uh, Von Reg here in this situation is the right call? You're not. I don't think he can get enough shots on Von Reg unless he lands a block. And like Von Reg can also just three bank all the way away and be out. True. Or exactly. one hard behind the rock. Like Von Reg has every. I don't think he can get enough shots on Von Reg for it to matter. Yeah, I don't think he can one hard to the right here. That'll put him on the rock. But... He could. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, because he's Von Ray. He can just barrel roll out of it. Indeed. You don't do that at two hole, but... <laughs> at least I don't. Doug, uh, Doug's been known to take some chances occasionally. Uh, I mean, sometimes going over the rock is the correct choice. That's think, the question. I, I don't think here, though. <laughs> do they remember Von Ray's ability? Well, so there's only half an hour left of this game. Mm -hmm. Like, and Doug is... If if Andre dies, Doug is down on points, but Doug has a pretty easy... Right, because here's what we're remaining. looking at. We could see a point into Kylo puts Greg in the lead. If Kylo gets halved um, with the amount of time left, it puts Greg in a really good spot. Mm -hmm. um, if Andre dies, it's still... Uh, Doug's still a favorite, even though he's down on points, because he has 12 free points and a one-health DFS chilling there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what he does. Maybe Doug just says, hey, I'm going to lose Von Rigg, but I'll take out DFS and still be up on points. Mm -hmm. And now three three ships into two aces is a really advantageous place for aces to be. Doug is trying to make decisions, he says. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like we're ready. All right. Indeed, and like we're like I said, we're watching, we're watching the TTS. So the our commentary is actually ahead of the tabletop stream. I just realized. <laughs> oh, I know it's not. Yeah, I understand. I understand how things work. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a good maneuver there. I like that a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. That's it's probably an obstructed by a cloud shot at Kylo, but that's a shot at Kylo. I don't think Kylo can get out of that arc. That is also not a bad move either. But like I said, if if yeah, Watt yeah, doesn't okay. block the five straight, the five straight he can boost out of both arcs with Vonrick if he did the five straight. Assuming he doesn't also have the rocket. Oh yeah. I, uh, the question is did did Watt block the five straight? I think it's I think the five straight is clear. Well, now it's definitely there. A little bit going here for a potential block, but I'm thinking more likely to I have th a good shot on Kylo. Yeah. Or he might be expecting uh, ooh. Von Reich to make. Ooh, that's spicy. Yeah. I mean, it's... He's at full health. Yeah, you're shooting into an 8 health ship. That doesn't... He's, he's behind. He, uh, no, like Blackout's at full health. Blackout can play as aggressive mm -hmm. as he wants. Blackout is who Doug wants everyone shooting at. So, aggressive blackout play is Ooh, really strong. It does prevent the five stream mm. barrel roll out. So, yeah, if, I'm, if I'm Kylo, do I barrel roll left here? To... Yeah, that gets you out of Watt's arc. Mm -hmm. If you go left and backwards. Yeah, taking only a shot from the cold. Uh, yeah, Watt's uh... probably out. Of, well, there's a decent chance Watt's out of range. Anyway. But you don't really want to eat the cold quite shot if you can avoid it. Oh, see, I would have taken the target lock here just to check ranges. Yeah, but if he's if he can't get out of range anyway, it's better to have the focus and the force. 
Alright. Oh. Oh, he said he had so many better decisions, but seven on the dumb one were his words. <laughs> Well, all right then. Say, Doug, hearing it is nice being in the same room with Doug, so I can hear his thoughts. He thought Doug would, or he thought Greg would guarantee block the five straight. Ah. So DFS passing that calculate that he's not going to need. See, now there's actually a decent chance that Von Reich dies. Mm hmm And he doesn't have a shot on the one. He's oh. going to go for the HMP. He's just putting two shots in the HMP. He yeah, trying to get there. half points there. For two? And two, not bad. HMP... Has two calculates. He's gonna take a shield, uh, is he? Don't think... I don't, if it's me. No, yeah, because you, you spend the calculate here. I'm going to kill... It's a very good chance to kill Von Reg, mm -hmm. and the only way to stay up in points is to not give up any more points. So... You've also got another calculate. Yeah, um, so he's spending... You have network hitting. calculations. Mm-hmm. But you don't have the network right, calculate right. on. But. All right, now range one bullseye from. There's the predit. Ah, for four. four. And now, like Greg actually has a chance to not get halved here. I don't know why he's down to die. Oh, they're only one agility. They're that's only why. One agility, so <laughs> shields and a hole down. So that's a half point yeah, there. That's half point there, and that puts Doug up even if Von Rig dies here. Pilot noises. Ring through the interceptor. Oh, yeah. Next point, not spending a force. They get some damage in there. Oh, he's got the evade. Yeah. And might as well spend. He's mm -hmm. not eating any more shots. Nope. Also, always block damage when you can, because you never know if you won't be able to in the future. Watt does have it. Uh, and Watt's got to go for the blocked pawn rank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You... Watt's like, this is. This is this is a table off. This is a ship off the board. Uh, no. He's going for Von Rig. Uh, he should have one more die then. And the Von Rig's oh, range two. Is it range two? Okay. <laughs> uh, this. No, it's the Humpty that has the target lock, so that's one. Yeah, he's got a reroll from what? Yeah. Sad. Man, and it's the one there. Now maybe maybe the HMP. It is range two. That's okay. It wouldn't matter because he is calculating. Oh my god, it's the sync laser cannon. <laughs> sync laser cannon comes into effect here. Not that it matters. Uh, that is... It's a hit. It's a hit, okay. Spend that one's not, though. Two. Actually. All right. Fondrick lives with push. one. And now the, the the crazy one is the color coids range three into Kylo. Yeah, this might get a point through if he gets a lucky shot. Uh, that's not great. Now Kylo's got to roll three blanks to take a damage. Oh. <laughs> he almost did. He almost did. <laughs> <laughs> I, was coming in close there. I heard Doug clench real hard there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, so welcome, Adam Kempers. Adam, we've got some interesting positioning here. So, what do you do if you're Kylo? Uh, you've got some angry ships pointed at you. What'd you say? So, what do you do if you're Kylo here? <laughs> uh, blackouts, blackouts in prime position to just deal some pain. Yeah, all Blackout has to do is slow roll the rest of the game and be behind and be like, if you're going to turn and shoot a Blackout, please do so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think DFS back there, little green guy in the corner, is only going to be there to keep Blackout honest. Uh, I think it's Blackout at... and the DFS, the slow maneuvers are the same speed. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> and uh, Blackout has a lot more options as far as repositions after a maneuver. Like, mm -hmm. Doug could do something weird like a bank out towards that gas cloud and then boost in kind of thing to stay behind DFS. Or also he could just not care. Right. There's also an option. The Geonation prototype side slipped last turn, I believe, so he doesn't have it available this turn. He did indeed side slip last turn. That is so correct. He, because a side slip right now would be really useful. 
Yeah, like a side slip to the ship's left would be really spicy and awesome if you had that option. I was thinking side slip bank right, but yeah. That's fair. Um, the left lets gets him up on blackout and von Rig. Mm -hmm. And Tug really should bail with Kylo. Yeah. Tug just freaking bounce out yeah, of there. Three three bank away and boost. Three bank boost out. Yep. Just be gone. Be like your your win condition in this game, Greg, is you have to kill von Rig and somehow catch Kylo without losing any more points, which I don't. In twenty minutes. I think if Doug if Doug plays safe, I think it's uh he's in a really good spot, especially with only twenty minutes left now. Mm -hmm. Hey, when did we get gunboat emotes in our chat? Nice. I just typed in gunboats. Or I just went to the, my emotes and I could use the gold squadron ones. Oh, so. There we go. <laughs> We're rolling big money now. Hey. We're basically gold squadron. <laughs> With a tenth of the views. Hey, we're up to almost... And tenth views. We have a hundredth. Of, we have about fiftieth of their views. <laughs> they have almost four hundred live right now, and we're sitting at seven, which is a good number. Right. Gonna hope that Kylo comes in there and just uh, he gets one more shot into him. The thing about a close game with these points, though, is it it could swap at any time. Oh yeah. It looks like Greg is down by a lot. But Greg is one damage away from 29 Von, more Von Rake points and 38 more Kylo points. Um, Very true. Wait a minute. Do the gun, do the HMPs have a stop? No, he hasn't moved the HMP yet. He's deciding what to do with DFS. I wonder if it does. Yes! Oh, I was just going to say, how... stop would be perfect here. And he's got it. Spicy <laughs> balls of meat. Yeah, that. Oh. I, I think Doug, may, if Doug remembers that, he probably just goes slow enough to bump. Mm-hmm with Blackout. But uh, that, does, that does not go well for Mr. Von Rigg. Okay, I was going to yoink his way out of there. Yeah, That's actually an even better move than what we were talking about yeah, because Doug's that's... really good at aces. Mm -hmm. um, now, Watt's not even pointing at him to pursue. No. He did clear. Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, it's not, not yeah. a huge deal. He can barrel out of one arc. Or he can just choose violence and go shoot Watt in the butt. I agree, Doug. You should not be aggressive. Yeah, yeah. Bear roll away. There you go. Eat the one range. It might even be range two now. It'll be close. Mm -hmm. But uh, Black Eyes not. Again, the HP is probably shooting at Von Reg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Von Reg will not be taking a strain this turn. Von Reg should take the deplete to barrel roll and boost away. No, he'll still want a mod. He's still going to eat a shot. Is that, oh, a no, you're shot. right. Yeah. I was going to say, that's uh, you know, the 180 arc. I see. If I'm if I'm Doug, I I take a deplete to barrel roll and then focus and try to survive the range 3 shot. But it's still a range 3 St. Turret shot. Yeah. yeah it's a shame that yeah, range 3 doesn't matter first. here. So, and he can't boost... He can't boost focus, which no, is... So. He's going to choose violence. Which, to be fair, if some of Kylo doesn't get halved, Von Reg dies yeah, and DFS and dies. Taking, so a, deplete, taking a deplete here so you still get a three-die shot. Four-die shot. Uh, three-die if you took a deplete. He took a, he took a strain. Oh. Just saying, I'm willing to die. Okay. He is. He's, and which is actually what he said out loud to me. <laughs> well, not to me, but in the room with me. Mm -hmm. But I... Indeed, choose violence we see in the chat. Oh, that's yeah, some that's good violence. So, that's a dead DV. That's that a dead DF. That is super dead. Many F's in the chat. <laughs> Doug asked Craig if he'd like to spend one of the HMP's calculates. <laughs> <laughs> Doug's just remembering Greg's triggers. He's just he's just making... yeah. <laughs> hey, fuel leak triggers. Don't forget. And, no, he did. He did remember fuel leak. Uh, the Philly card. So he takes another face-up card. <laughs> That's Doug. Yeah, Doug's trying to help Greg Miller's deck. He's, <laughs> if you run out of damage cards, you can't lose. So 
I don't think that. <laughs> ah, that's how it works. They ignore the rules. Let's say otherwise. Okay, do you go? Ah. Yeah, I go for you, you go you, for one. You go for one every time. Colcoid hasn't taken any damage yet. So. Neither has Watt. But Watt's also worth a lot more Ooh. points. Spend that focus. Take one still, Take though. Take a shield off Watt. Watt is uh, being very soulless as well. Watt's a tanky boy. Yeah. And here's the attempted kill shot into Von Greg. Three dice. Because Sync Laser Cannon is only range 2 to 3. Oh, he's got Target the lock. He's lock. got the lock. He's got the lock. Spend that lock. What? What? I don't know what that was. What was that? He has the lock. Why, why did he not roll all of them? I don't, I don't know why he didn't roll all of them. Why did he only roll the... Oh! Yeah. Was, wait, huh? I don't know what happened there, to be honest. Oh, hold on, gotta ban somebody from the chat real quick. Do you have an FCS? As we have a bot in chat. Yes, indeedy. Uh... I don't know why Greg didn't spend his turtle lock there. Oh. GTFO. Oh, that's right. HMP, it can't spend its lock. Right! Ah! Uh... Thanks, Doug. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Can not spend your target locks to re-roll attack dice. That is true. Oof, that was really unfortunate for Greg then. That really hurts Greg's chances for this game. Uh. Hey, like, if we go to time without the game state changing, which is distinctly a possibility, um, it actually makes the same game still pretty close because there's only a 61 point difference right now. Very true. And we will be doing the second game after this, after a brief intermission. So. Indeed, probably something like a 15 minute break, I'd assume. Indeed, stick around. That's good. We know we hit the big time, though, because we had a bot in our chat. Yeah! So. <laughs> We've We're made real boys. Now. now, how do I get the friggin' bot's little thing to go away? There we are. All right, HMP missing that firmware update, indeed. Yeah, that was a <laughs> that was a pretty large sad for Greg. I think I see where Greg's strategy was with the idea that if a thread tracer would have gone off. Suddenly, that HMP becomes a monster. But fortunately, he's not able to get the not able to get the thread tracer off. Uh, At this point, if I'm Greg, I'm uh, I'm playing for game two. I think at this mm -hmm. point, I'm trying to get half points on Kylo or pick off Von Reg, but I'm just trying to make sure that the MOV is as close as possible so I have a chance to win game two. I think if I'm Doug, I'm doing the same thing. I'm playing for game two, so I'm trying to not lose any more points. So as to keep the uh, margin as wide open as possible. That is strategic, but I don't want to see 12 minutes of aces flying away from slow ships. That's the worst. I mean, there's no reason Doug should ever engage if Greg's shooting back for the rest of this game. With 10 minutes left... Exciting content. Uh, the, the point is to win the game, so... <laughs> and uh, the, Doug has no reason to engage on anything but his own perfect terms. In order for me to get everything I want, Doug's going to have to make some sacrifices here. <laughs> I'd just point out that Doug is the one in the final, and not either of us. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. But you and Doug and I all had the same uh, same record in the league, but... Doug just had insane MOV. Yeah, Doug had, had insane pretty MOV. pretty good MOV. <laughs> and my MOV was horrible. It, it, it was sad, unfortunately. But uh, we did all finish 4-3 and three in the seven-game round Robin turn. Greg did come in first. Um, 
is oh, the yeah. first seed. I, was, I was, was the four. I was the fourth seed, and Greg knocked me out. Doug had twenty more MOV than me, and was the third seed. <laughs> yeah, says half the league was four and three. True. That is how it does tend to how how it be in round robin. Most of us end up in that middle bracket. Because John John Ryan, the wonderful manager of the wonderful game cafe, was also four and three. All right, Cold Floyd coming in on a pursuit trajectory. Not going to get yeah. any shots this turn, but no, he's got the the hard turn next turn. Like, oh, that's the best the Cold Floyd can do at this point, though. Mm-hmm. Um, Greg is unfortunately to... without as... killing Von Reg there. Greg is in a really disadvantageous position. Yeah, as an interceptor, it does not have a target lock, which is fine. Like, Donk. He's 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 going for the half points on Kylo, which is the right call. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, if I'm Von Reg, I I hard turn out to the right and yeah, straight up. And uh, Kylo is stressed, which means he can't three hard to get out of range. And the, yep, Greg is committing everything to trying to half points Kylo to pull the margin closer. And Watt has six health left, which means two more damage on Watt is half points on Watt as well, mm -hmm. which is a possibility here from Blackout. Kylo does do the too hard. Which he could just boost around and... Uh, oh, he's taking, taking a target lock and... Uh, chill. Alright, alright, alright. Yep. Von Ring just sits there in a safe space. Uh, oh, takes his target lock. Because why yeah, not? might as well take a lock. The daredevil, daredevil boost. <laughs> he has dared to devil. Because he can one hard next turn and clear both of those. Yes, indeed. If Blackout gets through two through here, that's half on uh, uh, Watt, and that's actually huge if that happens. Oh, it distinctly could. Good. I think Doug spins it. Yes, he does. Yeah, he should. Now Greg has to natty out, and that's half points on half Watt. Half points on Watt. Oh, it's not half points on Watt. Math no, is hard. He had a shield, yes. Yeah. Math is hard. I always forget that uh, Solus one upgrade as well. Yeah, I, I just mismathed. I was like, three is half of seven, and it wasn't. <laughs> he spins the a target lot. lock, and Kylo gets two. Not enough to kill the HMP. Or enough to do more than one damage. But now Kylo's eating two shots. Is he? Does Watt have range? Yep, range Ooh. three, unobstructed. Just by the... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, look at... Zoom yeah. in and look at that. That is oh, ridiculous. That is, that is yeah. Kind that of is a, the, uh... the corneriest of Kylo's corner is in range. Oh. <laughs> and I think Greg right has then. to shoot at Kylo. I think yeah. Greg has to put two shots on Kylo and go for half points. Do it, Greg. Give in to your feelings. Shoot her. Don't waste it on blackout. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing to be gained by shooting blackout here. Ah, no, Greg. Yes. There's nothing to be gained by shooting blackout. You're calculating to take your reroll. No. no, a point on blackout. Honor. I do think that was a mistake for Greg there. Uh, indeed. Yeah, there's nothing nothing to be gained by shooting it at blackout. It was un even if like he in theory could have half blackout, mm -hmm. but it was very unlikely, and he had a much higher chance of actually having Kylo. Does not have the target lock re -roll. And, and Kylo has the force. Yeah. But, but if if. Watt had also shot at Kylo. That might have gone through. Right. Like. All right, with six minutes left, it is... More likely have... This is probably the last, but we might get one more round of combat after mm -hmm. that. Oh, what are we looking at here? Kraken. Ah, yes.
I'm so used to Kraken always being carried on the quote unquote leadership mm-hmm. that seeing it on the, the prototype is interesting that it's on you know there and not on uh, Watt. It does spread the points costs around a little bit mm-hmm. um, so that they're uh, closer to even in cost. Actually That's actually the nearest. Why does Watt have a... Cal- oh, because Watt was passed to calculate way back when from DFS. Yep, he was. He's not spent it at all. <laughs> he's held on to it this entire he's, time. He's doing the old the old Grievous maneuver. <laughs> where you'd, uh, when you had crack it on Grievous, you'd yeah. calculate on the first turn and keep it the rest of the game. Mm-hmm. So if I'm Doug, I one hard in with Von Reg. Uh, if I'm Doug, I bail with Von Reg. Like, uh, this is the last turn of the game. Don't give up those points. Well, there aren't really any other stress clearing maneuvers that fit with Von Reg, is what I'm saying. Two bank between the clouds and boost behind a cloud. Two bank with him? Yeah. yeah. Easy. Okay. Easy. Okay. Well, whatever Doug's doing, he is confident in it. He's already set his dials. Doug, Doug's fast. Um, he's usually made up his mind before dial time comes. So yes, Greg is now set too, which means we there's a decent chance we do get another round after mm-hmm. this one because Greg his dials down just about as fast as Doug did. All right, yep, three hard around there. Does he not have room to boost. boost? Means he just calculate. Uh, oh, they do have a turtle. Oh, they do. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Cause they've got a missile slot. Yeah. Yeah. Greg's just a. Uh, uh, he thought he might. Maybe he thought he might have had a shot. And the double calculate yeah. is a pretty is a, about the same as a target lock. If you think you're going to shoot. Oh, is he going for a potential block here on Kylo? Uh, block, and it just, that just keeps his arc more open mm-hmm. if Kylo follows Blackout, but I do think there's a chance Kylo just, like, three hearts out. Which now Watt is covering. So, and Greg has done a good job. Um, mm-hmm. He will get a shot on Kylo, almost certainly. Unless Kylo five straights. And fits, which I don't think the five straight does fit. Watt. What? Kylo's three bank. Oh, Kylo Chow's. Yeah, uh, he's got a barrel roll out of yeah. Watsark. He's not. He's just gonna choose violence. No, he's gonna barrel out of Watsark. Yeah. And just eat the HMP sink cannon shot. Mm-hmm. I bet you. Oh, Honor did turn in. And he'll be taking a watch shot. Watch shot. He could watch barrel shot. behind the rock, thinking it's gonna be the last turn. Is what? Uh, two and a half minutes. That's. With, there's, yeah, there's yeah, yeah, there's combat, but I don't think that's in Doug's nature. It just gets him out of arc, and uh, if you know the last turn, there's no reason not to do that. He's going to go that oh. way instead. Okay. He has a strain, though. So he's Again, he's accepting that Von Rake should be dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's like, also, he has to have a chance to do the three damage he did to kill the Von HMP Rake here. Range one into the Humpty. And he's Ooh. gonna re-roll, and he's gonna just try to kill the HMP. There it is. That will guarantee death the HMP, yeah. which means Kylo is safe from being mm-hmm. halved, and that puts Doug farther ahead. That on the points. is the because game. the Genos and prototype costs only two points less than Von Rake. So yeah. even if Von Rake dies, Doug comes out ahead. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, it's the PS kill. Indeed. Now Kylo is guaranteed to not get halved. And, you know, Dream State. Uh, Von Rank, or Watt dies here, too. <laughs> he will not. Yeah, two hits and a crit. But he will, get, he will get half for sure. So he it takes hit, crit on Watt. Panic. Ah. Here comes the range two and Von Rake. Three on two. It's range three, it's three on three. Oh. And I really expected the natties, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I really expected it. 
Points down on Von Rag. Actually, it does mean we'll get one more turn with 50, point, 50 seconds left yeah, in the game. Yeah. We All will right. have one last round. Again, no reason for Doug to let there be No, down. Doug should absolutely just bail out with both these guys. And... Yeah. Like, literally five straight blackout over that cloud. Who cares? Yeah. Every day five day. straight Kylo. Who cares? <laughs> like... <laughs> you have double stress Watt and uh, no way to get shots back. Yep. So. Like, at, maybe the color coin could take a shot if it was very lucky. Maybe. <laughs> Mm, with the distance they've got there, I think even a three hard boost. I think is... if I'm Doug, I just actually like three bank over the cloud and say, I have a gas cloud in yeah. forest, you can't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> that is time uh, in the round for them. Now yeah. it's time in the round for us as well. <laughs> so, uh, barring a miracle, great, uh, Doug should bring this game home. Um, game one will go to Doug, probably by the score of 141 to 57. Mm -hmm. um, which does mean Greg needs to win by about 100 points to win the match in the extended game. I have no idea what either person is bringing for extended. Oh, this is going to be... Well, uh... I know Greg committed that he's bringing many, but yeah. <laughs> I have no clue what list Doug built. He hadn't decided by the time I went to bed last night. Rebel jank. It's, no. it's almost certainly not Robo. <laughs> Doug doesn't like Doug doesn't like jesting. Yeah. <laughs> Doug would rather not jest. So I'm thinking, um, two forty five is probably going to end up being our start time for game two. This yeah, game about... should wrap up in the next five minutes, and then that gives the guys a 15-minute break to yeah. hit the restroom, grab a snack, grab a drink. Exactly. Fresh the we'll, legs. We'll come back to the extended second game, where Greg Indeed. will be looking to make up a 84-point deficit. Indeed. Um, presuming nothing insane happens at the end of this game. Yeah. Uh, no, do, doing the math here, uh, nothing insane should happen. Yeah, I mean, Greg could get some more points. Greg, yeah, like he could have Kylo randomly, but it seems unlikely. That's a good. That's a good move from Watt. Yeah. He's actually got a chance to shoot Watt black out. Care. Yeah, Kylo did do the oh. thing, but he's actually didn't, he's not behind the cloud, unfortunately, which means he could actually watch him get strained. Get a shot. No, no, no strain. But he does have a shot from the colicoid. I don't know why he did that. The turn instead of oh. the leg. The talent <laughs> rule. Doug chose violence instead of safety. That's not a very Doug thing to do. Alright, he's gonna go range two into what? Or two? for two. This won't kill what? Yeah, it will if he uh, does. Oh, that's right, he never just never moved those cards last turn. So yeah, Watt does have two health left. Watt needs a squiggle to live. He doesn't nope. get it! Oh no! And Doug, Doug chose not violence, but win by more points. <laughs> that makes it 165, 157. So much more difficult for, like, much more difficult for Greg to win the match. Uh, and does he have the Colacloid arc here? I think he does, into Kylo. Unobstructed at Kylo. That is the least unobstructed <laughs> yeah. shot I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. How close are we here? Um, that is pixels. Very... Pixels. Oh, but the triple blanks from... Oh, oh he's got the lock! He's got the lock! He spends it because it's the last turn. And he gets, and two. He gets two. He's got a chance. Two blanks from Doug is half points on Kylo. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, that will have... 65 57 for our first game for Douglas Howe. Indeed. Uh, we will go ahead and take a quick break here, and then we will be back at 245 with our extended game. Indeed. Uh, right, thanks we'll... for joining us. See you in a few minutes. Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Game 2 of the Von Gregg Open Finals between Doug Howe and Greg Smith.
Doug Baron Hick, Major Von Greg Open. The Major Von Greg Open, indeed. Baron Major. <laughs> Baron, I'm, Baron, I'm Baron Major. <laughs> Doug took the first win in hyperspace, 165 to 57, and now we are in our second game, the extended format. And let's go over the uh, two lists. This time, Doug is playing the Separatists. Uh, Zam Wessel with Lone Wolf, Count Dooku, and Contraband Cybernetics. General Solid. Grievous, uh, Outmaneuver, Impervium Plating, and Soulless One. And good old DBS404 makes his appearance again with Advanced Torp uh, Proton Torps, Afterburners, Landing Struts, and the Probe Droids. Alex, what's Greg flying? Greg is flying Venny, the Resistance Bomber, the uh, uh, with fire control system, automatic target priority, agile gunner, better turret gunner. So he can spin his arc at the end of the round. He can fire a second arc shot. Um, basically, what's going to happen is he's looking at either firing primary first and then arc if he's going at the same target or shooting at two different targets because he doesn't have the Rose Gunner. But that's because he has Rose Tico in the pod. Uh, also with APT, very underrated ship, quality ship. Um, Finn also heroic APT. Yeah, Rose, has heroic Rose also has Heroic as well. Mm -hmm. I background, so I didn't see it. <laughs> Poe is running Heroic, R4 Astromech, Overdrive, Thruster, and Integrated S-Foils. And Poe is the highest initiative ship in this game. And with um, the double barrel roll slash double boost, he can be hard to pin down. Indeed, indeed. Um, um, one thing I do want to say about Doug's list is uh, it took everyone a long time to figure out why double Separatist Fire Spray was winning. And uh, the answer is Zam. Zam, um, yeah, Zam is, Zam is really good. so good. Cool. Sam is ridiculously good. Yeah, um, pilot and crew are pilot great. And crew. And pilot, like, they do the same thing, but pilot does it twice as good. Also, and pilot costs ten times as many points. Right, but it also starts out with the two out of four charges. Indeed. So Zam, Zam actually has a use in the first round of combat as a pilot. Right. Uh, what we're seeing here is also looking at uh, Poe having the highest initiative, but Doug having everybody at 544 there. Those probe droids, I'm predicting, are going to be a pretty uh, interesting aspect to this. And I'm probe looking, looking at the obstacle setup, that's uh, they just wanted to have a lot of they're space. Going, I think they're going to jest, <laughs> or something of the nature. Yeah, that's My assumption thing. is they'll probably rebel jest and each fly towards the middle of the board and then turn at each other. Doug says not to tell him how to joust, but I wasn't telling, <laughs> him, I was telling him what he's going to do. Explain to Doug what a joust is, because I don't think Doug he's says no. <laughs> Doug says up for a jest. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but one thing about uh, the pro droids is they're amazing and super underrated. They were very popular right when CIS came out, but then CIS got no toys, new toys, and everyone forgot about the dank droids. But they're phenomenal, and like what Doug's probably going to end up doing is, like, hucking a probe droid on turn one and then running away until the probe droid's in range to let everyone pick up locks. Indeed. I would. I am surprised that probe droids are still CIS only because that's... The Imperials should have them as well. I would it's love a different to kind of. It's a different kind of probe droid. Though. These uh, are the DRK mall probe droids. Imperial probe droids would have to be a crew slot or something because yeah. they're so large. And but I dangerous. just love the idea of... You know, if they were a crew slot, then I'd have a Reaper chucking out probe droids for my bombers going everywhere. <laughs> oh, to dream. But All those right. are uh, a little different types of probe droids, but I do feel you. Also, every faction would be amazing with probe droids. Yeah. Which is probably why they're CIS. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta give CIS something. Like, probe droids are a, a supremely underrated card these days. Mm -hmm. um, so Greg does have, like we were saying, the highest initiative ship in the game. The ace of the game, if you will. But uh, Doug has the advantage of he only has to kill 105 points, and then Greg can't come back. To uh, win actually, it's uh, more than that. With a uh, one one sixty five to one fifty seven, the hundred and eleven point lead that That's Doug right. has, so, yeah. or sorry, hundred and eight point lead that Doug's got coming into this. So like is, a, uh, about a hundred and five, like yeah. I said. <laughs> ish. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but uh, that, that gives Doug a lot of flexibility with his game plan. He can ignore Poe completely, yeah. kill the rest of the list, and win. And um match, which it depends on if Doug wants to if Doug is playing to win the match or if Doug is playing to win this game of X-Wing, which right. I could see him going either way. The thing is... They're starting, they starting the clock. Alright, clock's starting. One forward from Venny. Indeed. Focus, one forward from Rose. Focus, one forward from Finn. Focus. Focus. Now, the difference here is that this time, Doug does not have the uh, sheer offensive output that he did with his hyperspace. He, he does have a very consistent offensive mm -hmm. output. This Grievous moving after everybody means he's going to uh, tear into people with the uh, outmaneuver. Outmaneuver and Grievous's ability yeah. means he's going to shred these low agility ships. Which Doug was smart and kept Grievous away from the uh, 
bulk of the forces because Grievous should absolutely be priority number one to get off the board with that list. I mean, I, if you can, you want to get Zam off the board as quickly as possible because Zam is the carry. Zam is the carry, but Zam is also one of the harder ones to kill here. Uh, I mean, Dooku Solus makes one her Impervium, really tanky. I mean, Solus one in Previum grading. Uh, Impervium grading? Solus is super tanky. Yeah. All right. Because, uh, but like Zam, Greg's got to get Zam off the board. Yeah. That's the biggest chunk of points. That's what gives Greg the best chance of winning the match is to get Zam off the board for as little as possible. True. And Greg's also got some pretty uh, consistent offensive output here with his list. I, so. I'm still not convinced off any. I know Greg believes. He believes if any can do the job, but uh, we'll have to see. A 12 health double tap is still nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, I just like... It's only five dice over two attacks for a hundred for close to 100 points. That is true. Or 68 points. Like That's a lot of points for... Yeah. And Vinny can only shoot the closest target, not the best target. Right. Although, an interesting thing I've... with this list is that uh, he chose to bring Heroic on Rose, which you don't often see a lot of people do, because Rose kind of generates that ability on her own. Yeah, I mean, if he has the point. But, um, at, well, it's, it's is Heroic one or two points on Rose? It's one point. One point? Okay. So they're both at 200 points here because my thought was, as always, is there a way to fit Thread Tracers into this list? Any list with at least four ships, I want to look at Thread Tracers. But the option here would be to put it on Poe, and you don't want to give up Poe's three die attack for that. Yeah, I mean, you can for like a range three just to get the locks. But uh, it really Poe's job is to arc dodge as much as possible mm -hmm. and take as many range one shots as possible. True. Preferably right. in the something like Zam while he's out of her arc. I don't love the turn in with Poe for that specific reason. Now Grievous has the flank on Poe. Right, and we've got the uh, pro droids out there, so. Indeed. The pro droids move at the end of the round or initiative zero. I don't remember, but I will zoom in and look. Indeed. These are Zam cards. <laughs> pro droids move in the system phase. Okay. Which means uh, Doug will likely get the ability to lock at least one ship this turn. <laughs> we have some cheering in the uh, chat from a uh, friend of the podcast. Mark Myers, Mark Myers cheering here. for Greg because of Poe. <laughs> Doug is in shambles. <laughs> All right. Well, I think he's set up for a uh, slow roll here with Zam, obviously, because you're pointed at a cloud. But he can also has one hearts. Mm-hmm. He can one hard to the board edge or the other direction. I think he probably one hearts to the board edge. Actually, yeah, he probably one hearts to his left just to stay out. Okay, I'll go slow. I thought, you know, there was a an option there for uh, Venny to charge in and get that double tap, but that's a good, nice neutral move for Grievous. Yep. Continuing. Um, if Poe turns angle. in, he's eating out, out maneuver Grievous shots. He's afterburners and throw the APT at Finn is the possibility. Yeah, it looks burners, like. Yep. See the burners, we see the lock. Uh, as long as Poe doesn't initiative kill DBS, he's getting a, a five die torp in two. Doug will play KG with Sam. Take a lock on Poe. Po. Po, just say, hey Poe, you really shouldn't come to play. <laughs> hey Poe. And Poe didn't come to play. Oh. Poe said I would prefer not to. If I'm Poe, I'm barrel rolling and double double boosting out. Mm -hmm. Get that space. Yeah. You don't want Grievous to just be in your butt shooting at you repeatedly, because that is a good way to lose. Mark <laughs> Myers says Doug is playing undercosted CIS garbage. Nerf Doug. <laughs> Well, to be fair, they may be undercosted, but look how much Doug has fattened them up. That is a sixty-point Grievous. I think, yeah. the, like, I mean, that's the that's the the the, the quote-unquote ace Grievous. Um, I don't think Grievous is undercosted by any means. No, um, DB Zam, Zam might Zam, be. Zam, yeah, Zam may be. Uh, I don't know if she is, but she might be. <laughs> because you're looking at what is Zam's base cost? Uh, seventy-five, seventy-six around there. Uh, and me open Yasby. I'll do it. Yeah, Dooku uh, at 10 points is the... I would go as far as to say Dooku is one of the best uh, carries, but we're getting shooting here. Poe's taking a range 76. two. 
Which does mean that oh, maybe two has... dice did Poe leave his foil? Uh, those foils are closed, so. Well, she had to if he barrel yeah. rolled. Heroic. Oh, Heroic. Womp womp. Okay. And now here comes the pain. Nothing from nothing, Grievous. But Grievous has a really, really dope two bank next turn and just kill whatever shows up in front of him. Right, here's the APT coming six in. Six die Finn. APT coming into Finn. Which means if Doug gets all six, Finn cannot live. <laughs> well, he could with the strand. Doug oh. got one so far. <laughs> That's a Sven Rao kind of roll right yeah. there. <laughs> He'll come out with three crits. On... Okay. And Greg can take uh, the strain and take, take the nothing. Strain and, yep, take nothing out of that. If he's going to remember he's, he's how... He's thinking about it. You do it. Yeah. Take your strain, Greg. Yeah. Yep, take yeah. the strain to add a focus, spends the focus, three evades, yep. and... And wasted APT, essentially. The only thing Doug could have, might have been able to do was uh, delay a little bit longer so he could get the lock now, from the help trope me out here. Why was out. that six dice again? DBS's ability. DBS ability, that's right. Uh, did DBS suffer his... No, it didn't hit. That's right. Yeah, it didn't hit. But Greg will, he will take hit, hit, crit, or hit, crit, crit from... Ooh. He's at one health. Big oof. And a loose stabilizer, meaning he has to go straight or die next turn. Yeah. So that is DBS. Boom, boom. So basically, Doug is spotting Greg 50 points DBS with on... how this round went. Is DBS on one hole now? <laughs> yep, DBS is on one hole. Can only go straight or will die. And basically, Greg got a free 50 points. Yeah, that <laughs> hole. I think Xan needs to get into the fight. <laughs> let Doug set his dials before I stretch eyes. Okay, so... I can't tell the angle. Can uh, DBS go one straight without hitting that get that debris cloud? Easy. He's gonna okay. fit between Finn and the gas cloud. Okay. The debris cloud. The point is... At this point, your goal is to hope they have to waste another shot on DBS at yeah. some point. That's that's DBS's job. Is, hey, can I eat one more shot, please? Now, see if if I'm if I'm Greg, I would have used Agile Gunner to rotate the arc just to bank in and get that shot. Indeed. But he could you also say, hey, do, he could hard turn in and uh, rotate. But yeah, the he's free... probably going to hard turn in anyway because that's where all of those ships are or are pointed. The free rotate would have been. A good call yeah, like, I think a, uh, if he free rotated and then banked Venny, he could take a primary shot on the Zam, who's probably turning in, mm -hmm. and then take an arc, a turret shot at yeah. TBS. So I think we're going to see uh, Finn come in aggressively. I think uh, actually... Finn, I mean, Finn's going to clear a strain. Yeah. And probably just do a one forward and clear a strain. Uh, Maybe a two forward. That's right. Um, they don't have the, the their three straights are not blue. Grievous is two banking in and just taking a free out maneuver shot on whoever he can. Mm hmm. Um, Zam is almost certainly one hard again to actually be a part of this game. Uh, Rose is probably three banking. Can't argue with any of those. I think it's Doug might not turn Zam in. We'll just have to see. Um, but Doug just still have to get about 90 points to win this game. So, yeah, Greg has to win by 108, which mm -hmm. means Doug has to only get 93 points to win the match. So if I'm Greg, I play as safe with Poe as possible. Oh, yeah. At this point, you uh, just try to save Poe to take out of arc shots into Zam. Yeah, you... I would, I would bank out with Poe and... Just clear and keep yeah, him on the Try edges. to come around the come around the outside. Use him as a flanker. Yep. Yeah, getting getting that all that damage into DBS was a godsend for Greg because it is Greg is graciously allowing Doug to drop a second probe droid. 
Because Doug, Doug did forget he was on drop second one. Yeah. Greg did, did allow him to drop a second probe. Greg, Greg is a gracious guy that way. Greg is, Greg is a heck of a dude. All right, looks like we've got our dials all set. Tip four, yeah, there's the rose dial. All right, let's see some blood. Twelve minutes into this game, and we've uh. <laughs> TBS has gotten slaughtered. Yeah, this came uh, points came a lot a, faster here. A pretty brutal uh, fin shot, hitting two crits, and then direct mm -hmm. loose stabilizer to yeah. put him at one, and he must go straight to live. Well, not only that, missing the six die APT was uh... that does hurt. Single mod at six die. See, when you get up to five and six dice, a single mod makes it really volatile. Um, the average is still high, but you can like. Doug's average dice there was Doug was supposed to average four and a half hits, yeah. but uh, mm -hmm. it's volatile when you only have one mod, and you can end up with zero. I took a range one like at Crossroads one year. I had a fen shot, took a range one with the target lock, and rolled zero into zero. Like, well, that's because that's what fen round is. It's it's just when you have those high numbers of dice, single mods become very volatile. You got to figure the uh, the fen round penalty in for the math. That's there. true. That's very true. Yeah. Greg just yeeted. <laughs> yeah, pro droids uh, being remotes do not roll for obstacle damage, so. Indeed. Pro droids are working from home, as it were. <laughs> Finn is the one bank. That's an interesting choice. Ugh, he's not going to have any. And he was worried on. about clearing the straight. Yeah. Maybe just playing. We'd rather have a mod, and... mod for defense and uh, not bump. There's the bank. Running over the pro droid, You're see if it uh, goes boom. Does that make the pro droid go boom? How exactly does that work again? It's a high result. That ah. kills the pro droid. And he's oh, he's going to that double tap. Is he? And he's gonna hope that Zam turned in and take two shots into Zam, which means that Zam could indeed take two shots into Benny mm -hmm. as well. Oh, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have an out maneuver on possibly Finn. Yeah. Or Poe, depending or on Poe. what Poe does. Like, that Ooh. was exactly what I wanted Doug to do with Grievous. And th again, this is exactly where rotating that arc with Agile Gunner would have been really useful. Clearing the yeah. thing. And I guess what, DBS back in the fight. DBS. Assuming DBS survives this round without some random Poe shenanigans or a Rose. I don't think there's really any place though. you can go that gets, oh, gives Poe a shot on him. Indeed. Sam does turn in. They're probably going to end up each trading two range two shots if I had to bet my money. Uh, <laughs> Poe turns out. Clears the stress with the R4 Astromech. The one situation where Tashi Station will endorse the use of R4 Astromech. One of two situations. The other one is Han Gunner on Kevl. But uh, don't put our two, R4 Astromech on. Anything it's not like named yeah. Like, just generics that don't stress themselves, like... Or broadside. He's going to focus every turn. He should never be stressed. He doesn't need an R4 Astromech. That's the biggest defender, in my opinion, is people who put it on broadside. He's, it's not necessary. True. And uh, if stressing yourself with the broadside is going to be the right answer, um, it's still the right answer, even if you don't have R4 Astromech. So we're, I think Greg is deciding on pose actions, and then combat will start. Regular boost. boost, and then he will double Super barrel, barrel roll. roll. Which means Poe is uh, too hard next turn. Yeah. But he is staying around the outside like we talked about. Mm -hmm. Getting as much distance between him and uh, Grievous as possible. Indeed, uh, here comes the Zam will shoot first. All right. Zamantha Wessel taking a range two at Benny. Samantha's correct. <laughs> he rolls oh. two big one. He does have. Oh, this is Amanda. And there's the decent tire lock where he crit. That Venny. One point of damage on the Ven. Venny is spending his focus to take nothing. Oh, okay. Because of his ability. Yeah. Which should be fair. Venny gets free mods with the APT if he misses. Yeah. 
I think you go for oh the obstructed Poe though. Uh, Poe's still gonna have three dice. Yeah, you. But it's three on three. Poe has no mods, and you, you have go, the focus. No, you go and... after you go after Finn because you've just shut off heroic. That's true. You have to shut off heroic. Uh, actually, technically, Finn never yeah. shuts off heroic unless you take him to zero, because you take take the strain on it. He shot a Benny instead. Oh, he shot a Benny. Okay, so. Just fair. Give any off the board. That's a big chunk of points yeah. and a lot of bull. Sorry, of that's, how much damage are you going through to Benny? I can't see the shields. There. Three damage. Three Benny. shields off Benny. Okay. All right, Benny's going to try to double Benny. tap here. The three die primary first. If he misses, they'll get a free tar uh, free calculate to use for a second shot. Two. Two. That is a hit for one shield off Zam. And now the card flips. He gets to attack now, and he attacks before Venny's second attack. Yep. Just one. Oh, lone wolf. Two. Venny will take another sh uh, damage to the hull. Card to the hull on Venny, yep. And, and now Venny will shoot again with his... Dinky pays off, mm -hmm. and now Venny should get a calculate for his APT. Yes. Uh, does Finn not have a shot on Sam? Uh, they removed the, the things as though he doesn't. Um, okay. I'm thinking the angle is going to be. Yeah. My guess is they checked Sam and saw that Finn was out of range. Okay. All righty. Uh, Grievous is still in a great spot. Yeah. Um, I guess Finn will use an Agile forward. Gunner. Uh, I mean, uh, at this point, I think Greg is not Agile Gunnering on purpose to keep try to double-tap Zam as often yeah. as possible. Especially should... because Zam will not be double-tapping for at least one more turn. Mm -hmm. Now, do you stop here with Venny and... Uh... Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to say anything specific about Greg's things, because yeah. he's in the same room. But I that would be an interesting choice, but it also means that... Uh, Grievous can just slam in there too and light him up. Um, DBS is back in the game now too this yeah. turn. Like, I think you, if you're DBS, you just turn after Poe and just try to keep. Yeah, that, po that on po. like, hey, um, I'm gonna shoot Poe if you do anything crazy. Because see, if I'm if I'm Greg here, my thoughts would be stop with Venny, uh, and just turn in Finn, take Rose forward, and turn in Poe and try and get to my entire list shot. pointed in the same direction. Yeah. yeah. Try to put all the shots into Zam. Yeah. Ooh. This has some interesting options, like a two hard to the right, and then if that clears the cloud, boost and take back arc shots for the rest of the mm. game. Like, Zam is very flexible and definitely has a lot of options. Yeah. I don't know how many times flying a fire spray I've wished to have that three hard in there. Yeah, Especially so when you're in a position like this. Doug is in assistant phase. Doug is now choosing his Zam card. He's declining to move his probe droids. No need there within range of everything right now. So, Indeed. yeah, it's gonna be pretty. Oh no, he's moving them. Oh, he's, did I have to do that before. Oh, it's at the end of this phase. Oh, it's at your initiative. And this is okay. Okay, he yeah. says he he acknowledges he technically did the battle order. <laughs> Greg being a bro, and no uh, no information uh, was gained. Yeah. By this, like okay. if Doug had would have had information from Zam, and yeah. then all right, so yeah, we see that we see that bank, we see the stop, we see the two straight. He's uh, committing very hard to. Uh, it's like if that's too hard to the right clears for Zam, it's a beautiful move. I'm not sure if it does. I don't think it does. But maybe the two bank and then boost or something. Uh, okay. Yep. We've got that. Uh, here. Taking the target hey, lock. I, I, okay. He's gonna turn, follow Poe around. Be like, hey, I'm gonna shoot you if you get feisty. Grievous is not gonna get a. What probably is going to amount to a range one out of our shot already. Yeah. I, think you I don't th don't think you got range one here. Barrel, 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 barrel. barrel will give you range one, absolutely. Barrel yep. the right. He All didn't. Right. He just chose to. Oh, they have a block. Yep. Anyway, which means that he has no shots this round. Mm -hmm. So the big double tap is not going to happen. And you're, you're Sam will range one from shot Finn from and a. Uh... And you've got, uh, you've got lots of shots into Poe too, which is part of why probably Grievous didn't move either. Is hey, I'm almost thinking Sam. this is a. 
barrel roll left in focus for Poe? It might be a focus double boost. Yeah. Focus double know. boost, it's I think, a, puts out of arc. You don't want Poe there anyway. No, like, I would, I would, I would barrel roll to get uh, out of range of Grievous, maybe. At focus. I don't think he fits actually at the board edge there. Yeah, it'll be close, but it's not going to be out of range of Grievous either way. Because that rock is at the inside of that rock's at range two. Uh, Grievous is within range one of the edge of that rock. Poe will almost certainly still be in range. I don't know what Poe does. He's eating three arcs right now, and he's got to do something. Yeah. <laughs> He still has his foils closed. He does. Uh, but he can't barrel roll if he doesn't have. I know. You you just hate to see two die po. Maybe he, can, he might be able to line up a bullseye. Like a focused double barrel roll actually towards Grievous gives him bullseye. Oh, Damn. that is true. But then he's getting a range one out of Mark Alvin for Grievous shot. He's got a focus lock. Okay. Three. Okay. Oh, Apparently no. he, he said he opened his foils. Well, he opened foils, all right. Card. Right call. We roll both just to be safe, because you want to save the focus for defense if possible. Yep. Two coming into Zam. Ooh. Guy he probably doesn't have Lone Wolf. Yep. So spin in the force, taking one to Zam. He does get a free lock on Poe. Which is pretty big. So now he's putting six dice into Poe. Zam with one shield remaining? Zam has two shields remaining. Two shields remaining. What? Oh, those are charges. Never mind. Those are his those yeah. charges. I'm... And he will spend the lock for three into Poe. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's worse than three blanks. That's two shields off Poe. Two shields off. And that focus is gone. Mm hmm. And now the Gen Monda General Grievous. <laughs> he does with a target lock as well. Range three. That does Pits. not need to spend the lock. Oh, might have a sad, sad round of this round. Oh, oh, oof! That's half points on Poe before yeah. Grievous even shoots. It's still range three, but it's two dice, mm -hmm. and uh, Doug has full mods essentially. And reroll because Grievous. And focus for three. A hit, hit, crit. And that's a hit, crit hit. into Poe. A direct oh. kills him. Structural. Stru oh. One health Poe down in agility. That's a. That is that. That's a no goose. <laughs> no. All right, and it looks like we're only getting two shots into Zam. Zam could feel some pain here. But uh, he might be able to have Zam back, especially with that range one big fin shot. Uh, you've got two re-rolls at range, is that range two? Zam with those. Uh, spend the focus. Just focus, Take yeah. Crit. Takes one. He's checking for Lone Wolf, even though he almost certainly doesn't have it. Range one Let's with Finn. Lock, and he recovers another charge. He'll recover another charge here as well. well actually, now Finn's not in his arc, so. Oh, Finn. Take the strain. Strain for, for two, two hits is your best chance. On the yep. bright side, he'll get a calculate if he misses. But he won't miss. That he'll just keep one. doing one damage at a time. That shield's down on uh, Zam. He can still try the charge. Yep, yeah, it is just after you defend. Sort of require the charge. So now Zam is mm -hmm. at three charges and has the option to double tap next yeah. turn. Mm, one health Poe, structural damage. Grievous on your butt. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Poe is unfortunately probably not very long for this world. If I'm Poe, I I don't know, too hard in? I yeah, I try to take one more shot before you die. But because Poe is stressed on where Doug's ships are, it's doubtful Poe even gets to shoot mm -hmm. this turn. Though so if I'm Greg, 
I uh, I just try to bump Vinny and yeah. hope that we keep Sam from doing anything. But I think right because Vinny Vinny's gonna have a long time before that front arc gets to come into play again. But if Doug anticipates that, he just turns to the right and takes back arc shots. Yeah. Because if you're Vinny here, you take a bank uh, left, and then you hard turn around that corner gas cloud. If I'm get... Vinny, I'm not, I'm not moving. I'm just one forwarding. I'm going to say, hey, yeah, hopefully you, Eventually, the, you know, the yeah. route for Vinny here is uh, poor. And that's occasionally the problem with the resistance bomber, is that you've got that potential double tap, but it's so hard to keep your front arc on target, being a large base with no way to turn around. And when, you're, when your front arc is the three die and your turret arc is the two die, you're going to take mostly two die shots. Mm -hmm. um, and then like, unlike the very similar YV-666, the YV-666 has a three hard and it has a 180 degree arc, which means yeah. it shoots more often than even this 270 degree turret when yeah. you have the double tap set up. It still does get the double tap with veteran turret gunner, but... But only... If he's not shooting out of the front, he only can shoot separate targets. Yeah. Because veteran turret gunner requires a different arc. Mm-hmm. I actually really like Zam doing like a one or two hard to the right and then boosting and then saying, hey, Poe, my back, you can't get out of my back arc. Yeah. Like a one hard boost would be what I'd love to see out of Zam. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully Greg might anticipate that in like two hard rows in the way. Yeah, and again, Greg does not use Agile Gunner here. Which, to be fair, it's Agile Gunner. Yeah. It probably wasn't worth bringing anyway. <laughs> Also, like, is Paige cheaper than? Uh, I'll bet you Paige isn't in hyperspace. Uh, Don't you have to drop no, a Paige, bomb to get to rotate your Paige? Uh, after you perform a primary attack, you may drop a bomb or rotate your arc. And Paige is a uh, uh, two points more expensive. That's why. I mean, you can you can clear up some points. Yeah, you can clear up some points there. It's uh, you can drop the two heroics off the two. Uh, you can drop Poe's heroic and oh, uh, drop Poe's and Rose's heroics, and you can get Paige. But uh. I don't know, like, I'm not sold on Benny in general. Yeah, props Resist to Greg. Greg. Greg has always loved the Resistance Bomber, and uh, if he's going to be in he's the finals of the tournament the that's named after him, <laughs> he's brand he's, he's, he's had success with it, with uh, Bob in 1.0 in yeah. the past. Uh, Cobalt, Cobalt Leader, I think it was yeah. his name, Cobalt mm -hmm. Squadron Dude. I don't Cobalt know. Leader, yes. Alright, so... Also, this puts Finn in a really odd position here. Finn because... is not happy right now. Um, Finn, like, Finn can one forward and hope that Zam doesn't move, but then Finn is firing without mods, so his ability is useless. Yeah, Finn Unless can't, can't K-turn out of this. He's, uh... He, uh... Like, yeah. Doug is, again, in a really, really good position after the opening cage. Yeah. Which credits to Doug. He's pretty good at X Wing. He's I. Right. He's up. I mean, I beat him in the league. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, that means. But he beat me and I beat you. So, by the transitive property, <laughs> he beat you, you beat me, I beat him. <laughs> and we all lost to Greg. True, actually. Yeah. I think Greg. But I think that is hard. Too. So with a stressed Benny here... Ah. I I don't like... I don't think Greg has any good options this no. turn. Like, I don't think Greg has a single I almost think option. he has to bank out to clear the stress with Benny yeah, just I, so he can have something to do with... Uh, yeah, I think he it might be his best idea to just sacrifice Poe and try to reset. Mm -hmm. Which sacrificing like 73 skating. points when you've got that uh, well, Poe's already, Poe's already dead. Yeah. Poe's dead. Um, unfortunately, yeah, Greg has to. If Greg's going to lose Poe, almost certainly, which means he has to win the game without giving up any. Yeah, not points. being able to not taking out DBS four hundred four was a. Uh, you had that DBS amazing, nearly kill shot with Finn, and then did not be able to follow up hey, on it. Finn Finn did more damage than dice rolls. Yeah. So, <laughs> like that's that's the most you can hope for out of him. I kind of expected that move with Finn. It's the only chance okay. he's going to have to play some defense. Okay, yeah, bump a move. Finn should focus here. Probably. But he, he does have the barrel roll as well. Uh, now that barrel roll is red and... Uh, yeah, but, like... Does it matter? <laughs> like, Finn doesn't have a lot of good options. It, yeah, well, the thing is, 
with this, at least you have the option of K-turning and uh, getting into the fight the next turn. Yeah, Rose does anticipate the one heart I was talking about mm -hmm. and blocks that, which is a really oh, spicy move. Uh, no, because the one heart will block on Venny. Oh, it's fine, though, but Rose prevents Zam from getting free, is the thing. Okay. That's uh, By doing that, Zam is still eating a shot from Poe, as opposed to banking out, and <sighs> Grievous is here to kill Venny. <laughs> uh, Zam's doing the 4K. With Contraband to get to take an action. Mm -hmm. Though Grievous' abilities will not trigger on Venny, because he's currently in Venny's back arc. True. Could have actually potentially barreled to get to the side. But maybe he'll just shoot Rose instead. And Poe is almost certainly just bumping into Zan. He's hoping he doesn't wind up there. <laughs> but he's not. He's, he's going to bump Zan here, I believe. Yeah. Which okay. means he's going to DBS range much. Which means if DBS hits Poe, DBS will die. <laughs> Which again, if yeah. DBS hits Poe, Poe will die, uh -huh. so it's fine. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Poe does Poe have a shot on Grievous here? He might. We'll have to see when they think. It'll be close either way. Uh, Poe should have cleared his stress. There we go, Larry. And Grievous has his defensive rerolls here, so. Vinny's got the double tap option. No, Vinny does not have the double tap option because of the arc. That's right. Ugh. There, right now, they're discussing should DBS be alive. Um, the answer is yes. Uh, DBS failed to land and attack this game and thus has not taken the damage yeah. from his ability. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Rose, Vinny. Uh, I think he's going to Vinny. Oh, and... Did we decide that Poe had no shot? I guess they did. They might have checked and we might have missed it. Hmm. Um, Poe Dameron checks for targets and arcs. Sam Russell at range one is it. Okay, so, uh, but also Poe should not have the, uh, stress. Indeed. They'll get it. They'll catch it. Ooh. Womp womp. That's a sad pain for Vinny. Very sad pain. For... It's a decent chance Vinny gets pinned. Three hits in a here. crit here. Oh, that Correct. is... Five damage uh, to me. Six, three, three health left on Vinny. Four, two health left on Vinny. Three. three. Six cards and, two sh and three shields. Yeah. Grievous is going to take his uh, oh, DBS. DBS is going to try to kill range one to Bo. Bo. Four dice into two. Oh. He's got the lock. If he rolls a paint, it guarantees both are dead. Oh, the structural damage already guarantees both yep. are dead. <laughs> you didn't need to reroll anything, buddy, so... That is a dead Poe and a dead uh, DBS. And now Grievous can just pound into the three health Venny and Ooh. he doesn't have the rerolls or that maneuver. Doesn't need them. That's if Venny's got to roll the evade to live. Uh, is that maneuver front arc? Is that maneuver just front arc? Our maneuver is front arc? Just front arc. Just front arc, yeah. So that's oh, no, no. He, our maneuver is if you're not in the defender's firing arc. So Greg should have a Greg, Yeah, uh, remind him of that real quick. Yep. Uh, so they just caught it. So if Venny lives, we have to put Venny back. <laughs> this is a squiggle. Things get complicated. It does not. It okay. does not. Unlucky for Greg, but lucky for that us. Is, we that don't is, have to worry about resetting yeah, Vinny. We don't have to worry about anything because right now that is actually uh, that seals that that, that seals the deal. But they're playing it out for points here. For fun. For X wing, X wing. Yeah, uh, we, we can officially leave. early proclaim uh, Doug Howe <laughs> as the league champion. But... Tashi Station is projecting Doug <laughs> as the winner. <laughs> we're, we're we're doing early projections here because you now have two. Uh, Resistance pods against two of the most frightening ships in the Separatist faction. And especially against Tough Lower Initiative. Yeah. Which these pods are. And that's yeah. fortunate that, that Poe took five, six damage from mm -hmm. range threes. 
yeah that 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 did hurt quite a bit but i think here uh Doug goes after Rose to delete her off the the page, yeah. and uh, then just cleans up. Then he can just non commit with both of his ships and say, "I'll shoot whichever one's there." Yeah, Doug has all the time in the world. He literally, he's got thirty nine minutes left. I think you uh, one bank with Grievous, and then uh, clear some stress on Zam, and just take it easy. You've got playing for fun. Indeed. That's what X-Wing's all about, right? Really? What? That's what X-Wing's all about. What kind of attitude Fun. is that? Fun at all non, costs. Non-toxic. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> F-A-A-C. Fact. Yeah, yeah. Fun at all costs. I'm I, I will be determined to have fun no matter how bad I lose this game. <laughs> oh... Greg, realizing well. it is a foregone conclusion, decides to yeah, choose, well. choose quick violence here. I think it's still a. No, you boost seven focus. Health, you boost focus. Yeah. Seven health. Remus that ignores yeah. crits. <laughs> like Zam's gonna just boost in to range one of Finn and be yes. like, "What if he played death?" Because that is Zam how still has a target will. lock from Finn previously. Yep. Finn's going to get double tapped upon if Finn shoots. <laughs> Hey, look, that's uh, hard. And Womp. force for four, do it, Doug. You're up. And that is three coming into Finn. One health left on Finn. Finn now, if he shoots, invites death. <laughs> <laughs> four days. Thanks, Q Rose. Just uh, two. Just two. Rose gets one reroll. No, it is Grievous's arc that you are paying attention to here. So it's the attack arc, indeed. Yeah. Oh. So that's one damage to Rose. I think Rose is going to Rose is deciding to shoot at Grievous or Zam. Zam. He should shoot at Zam first, mm -hmm. and with Rose, flip the card, and then that can tell him if he needs to shoot. If he can shoot with nah, uh... shoot violence, violence. Two re-rolls. You get this. He's going to shoot a Grievous. That's an interesting choice. Eh. Shoot at Zam. Get the half points. Zam's one above half. Zam Spinner Force. I would shoot at Zam every time. More red dice. Take your re-rolls. He doesn't have them. Uh, yes, he does, because... Oh, no, friendly ships, yeah. Friendly ships. I was looking at the... Rose, all that Rose for is his friendly ships. Yeah. Jen does take the range one, gets nothing, and then Doug is going to double tap right back. Oof. That's a dead fan. Fan. Unless he gets two blanks and can add a heroic. He does, he not. does not get two blanks. <laughs> Loose stabilizer on Finn. Uh, Very loose. As far he is good. And we're down to three health rows. Big oof, as the kids say. I think they're they are going to call the game. All right. Uh, is calling it. Um, yeah. Congrats to Doug and to Greg for being the top two of our league. Indeed. Um, uh, thanks for... you know, thanks to all our players here, uh, the four of us, uh, as well as John Reinig, Matt Ritz, Mike Winnick, and Blake McDaniel. Blake McDaniel. Thanks to yeah. Ryan Krause, uh, Emmy Award nominated and Emmy, Emmy Award, Award winning, winning Ryan Krause. Not nominated, well, also nominated, also but nominated. mostly winning. <laughs> winning Ryan Krause for running the league, uh, Game Cafe league that... for hosting it and uh, being our sponsor for this league. We owe Ryan so much thanks. He put together a league, he couldn't even play it because he doesn't have a platform to play TTS at the moment, but he still put this league together for us and worked out some amazing prizes. Um, so thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Game Cafe, for uh, including gift certificates as one of the participation prizes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we all, uh, everybody who completed their seven games got our uh, 
entrance fee as a gift certificate, which is nice. It's I was explaining to people, it's almost like gift certificates to your gaming store right now are kind of like buying treasury bonds. You're loaning money to the gaming store in order to cash it in later. Indeed. Uh, uh, it was awesome. That's a, that's a great price. Like, we're gonna, all going to go spend money at Game Cafe anyway. It's indeed. great that uh, we're able to work out this awesome prizes. Yeah. Um, it was an awesome league. Uh, yeah, the prizes are actually uh, really interesting. We all, for participating, got uh, custom target locks, uh, cards, and chits for... Uh, our Major Von Greg. It's a Major Von Greg card that all has Greg's face on it that we put together, as well Indeed. as the target locks. So that's uh, rather hilarious. We'll put some photos of those up. But pretty yeah, awesome. great, great showing by Doug here. Uh, Doug actually he, had a pretty uh, slow start to the league. He uh, he he, did, he beat me in round one, but uh, that's otherwise, nice. you know, too hard to do. Uh, hey man, <laughs> uh, who was in uh, who was in fourth place and who was in uh... a <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> but it's uh. <laughs> It's been a lot of fun, you know. Luckily that awesome. we're able... oh, they are they are still going. I are they? Are they? Apparently, I they think are. They're, they're just flipping around. Oh, they're just flipping around. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. What, <laughs> what are I we seeing here? Just learning how talent rules work. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Zam's doing celebratory donuts around the map. <laughs> uh, yeah. But thanks again to everyone for watching. Um, Brian, again, thank you for running this league. It was awesome. Uh, and, uh, we will have these up on YouTube shortly. Uh, we will be recording another episode this week uh, for our previews of the upcoming veteran and ace qualifiers, as well as any news pending, that AMG drops. I, uh, date may vary due to pending birth of exactly. Yeah, Greg child. has a, um, a a new child on the way. Grogu should be uh, showing it's already up almost a, already almost a week late. <laughs> yeah, you know, stop slow playing, baby. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we will uh, we will be recording an episode ASAP to a. Uh, the next week or two for sure anyway. regarding the aces and veterans championships mm -hmm. and, uh, we'll see you guys then thanks indeed. for listening thanks. for Akashi station radio i'm matt i'm alex and uh, we'll see you guys later have a good one everybody <laughs>